We can see so many little ones here. They'll be the future of our game in, what, about five years. They're playing for the cup, which you see on the chair in front of you here. I want to thank McDonald's for their support in getting Rivers football up and running right around the state and territory of Northern Territory. Thank you to Ward Keller, the Territory Law Firm, Personal and Business Dispute Resolution. Thank you for being great sponsors in 2021. We'll get some shots as we heard the players and the little ones. And then we'll welcome the uh, mini roos back off the pitch shortly. We wish the uh, coaches, Martino and Matty, all the best. Hard work, volunteers, all year, days too. Champions of women's football, Martino and Matty, thank you so much, and your team behind you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, would you put your hands together for both teams and for the little ones as they make their way from the pitch. Come on, Mini Roos, on five, go. And don't run. How cute is the little one at the end? And that one, and that one, and that one. Thank you. Sit back, enjoy. Championship game, Aleni taking on the Rowdies. Welcome to the grand final. Kajarina taking on Hellenic. Hellenic finished on top of the table. Kajarina second right behind them. They've had a really good season, both teams. Mina, point out a couple of X factors for each team. You probably can't go past the golden boots from each team as well. <laughs> Absolute champions up there and they, they kicked a bag of goals and, and I think they're their weapons. But just give us a quick rundown of who to watch out for in both teams, Mina. Oh look, both teams are dominated teams and they have dominated all through today, uh, through the season. Um, you've, you know, uh, hence the Golden Boots. You've got Fulton. Fulton is probably one of my um, most uh, asset to the Kajarina team. She controls the midfield. She She's the game player. She's consistent, isn't she? She's very, very consistent. consistent. Uh, you know, that's from Kajarina. And um, look, you can't go wrong with Hellenic. Hellenic's such a strong but young, dominant team as well. So you, you know, you've got your your team full of Mercurlises out there. <laughs> you've got young Mercurlis, Sophia Mercurlis. That's who I'm going to look out for today. I would really like to see her performance coming out on tonight's game. I think we'd call it, with us being here, us mob, I think it'd be a mob of Mercurlises. Uh, Not a gang, yeah. a mob, it's, mob it's of Mercurlises. affair <laughs> tonight. So, Katarina are starting. So they are in the black strip. Hellenic in the famous blue and white. Of course, they won last season. So they're going back to back here. And the underdogs for sure are Casuarina, without a doubt. But anything can happen grand final day, as we know. We've both been there in various sports. And we just know that Casuarina need to shut down the space of Hellenic. And the person they need to shut down the most is Myatt, Rihanna Myatt, number seven for Hellenic. Yeah, by far, Tash. Look, she's a gun. You know, she's going to bring 110% uh, to this game, and already. But there she is there, number seven. Here comes Ellie McCrillos, the captain for Hellenic. She's been filling in for Beck Tom that's actually away. She's been captain and was captain of Hellenic, but she's on Navy duty, so she's actually out 
one shipper out of all weeks. <laughs> yeah, out she, of all weeks to that she's, tonight's game. She's doing her job for Australian. Here we go, Martin. She's got it. She's going to get the she's first goal of the game. game. Oh. 30 seconds <laughs> in. 30 seconds oh, in. Unfortunately, she didn't. Uh, the, oh. the ball didn't go to the direction she wanted. That was a close call. Unlucky for Hellenic, but these girls are going to bounce back from this. Oh, hang on. Can can you shut my... my, my oh, oh, I'm, I'm gobsmacked that she missed that goal. <laughs> that was an open goal. And I think it's a little bit of pressure too. So, you, you know, you can't go hard on these girls. This is a big game for them, especially a big game for the young ones coming through the ranks. Well, last week, Mina, the, the game that you were, you were away for, they scored in the first 30 seconds against the uppers. Wow. So straight off, so straight straight off the boot, yeah, they scored. And here they go. To one of the golden And here we go. Hoffman. Goal. She's Hoffman. the captain. She's going to have a <laughs> shot. Oh, <laughs> great save. save. What an excitement for <laughs> this game already. <laughs> Goalie's great. out of the box. Yep, she's got to come back quick to defend oh, her. <laughs> to this defend her goal. <laughs> if this is the way they're going to play for 90 minutes, I don't know wow. if I've got enough energy in Tash, I've got goosebumps already. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> We're sitting here with goosebumps. <laughs> Here's Ellen. And Legs is back. Legs is back. So she's back in. Jack. And on Smith, number 17 for Kajarina, been missing for about the last seven, eight weeks due to injury. So it's good to see Legs back out there. You know, she did take on the role of being assistant coach while she was um, actually out on injury on the sideline. So Casacala with a great save there for Hellenic, the goalie. And she had to go all the way to the corner to clear that box, uh, to clear the ball. So here we go. That's Douglas. Douglas is the other gun there with Hoffman up forward for Casarina. That's going to go out. So Walling is going to throw that in. Tess Walling that I believe she was hiking during the week. Missed, missed the week's training session. She was hiking. So <laughs> Maybe doing her own training yeah. session. I reckon I'd rather go to training. <laughs> 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 Would have been, might have been a little bit easier. So the general back there in Ellis is... Kasakala, pressure put on. Sit into the middle. Kulos puts it forward. Myatt has the pace. Look at her. Make up ground. She does it again. Through. She's got it. We know she's got a left and a right. She's still making her way through. And in the end, Kazarina go to the safety of the sideline. So it's going to be a throw in. Look at the crowd. The crowd is starting here. to fill up, fill up here tonight. Um, just in that gameplay there, you know, the girls really, Kazarina really needs to get it on a tight defence, especially shutting Myatt down. You cannot give her any room to move because she will dominate Hot. and she will make something off that ball. That's what they've missed. There's legs. And Yon Smith with a big clearance kick. And here we go. We go. So good kick. It's in. Oh, oh. Carla's fumbled. Oh. But she regathers quickly. And in the end... Spicer was there. That's Lana Spice, number 11 for Casarina. We know that she's got some jet engine as well. She can she can run. What a great pickup. What a great save. You know, what a great cover-up from Cascala. She has actually found her position in the goals as well. So she's been fantastic there all season. Oh, good work by McCrillos. And here's the young here's gun. the youngster. 15, the youngest player on the pitch today. She puts it out to Mark. Mark missed the first one. She oh, got the second. Oh, scored. Oh, that's scored. <laughs> in and they've scored through Martin. She missed the first one. Beautiful cool. cross by young McCrilla. She's the youngest player out there at she 15 is. years of, uh, of age. Mary Coombe is alongside of her. So here it is perfectly positioned in the box and there you go. Not much Odeas could do about that. That's right and fantastic <laughs> position she was. She had the all go ahead. She looked up. She gave it her all and yet yeah, found the back of the neck. Well, um, net. well done to Hellenic. So she missed the, the first gettable goal. Like she would have been so shocked that she missed that first one at the 30-second minute mark, but she's got that one at the four-minute mark. But here's Lana Spicer. We go. Casacala oh, goes Kassar, out. Well done. Didn't take a backward step. There was a big clash between her and Jasmine Anderson last week. Mina Casacala went down, but she's recovered well, fortunately for Hellenic. She's a great goalie. So here's Price. Usually a good throw. There she is. Goes to the young gun. Twinkle toes. There she goes again. Look at the speed she's got. Puts it again to Myatt. Myatt couldn't connect oh. with that one. 
So the go-to player, they've swapped it around a little bit from last week, Mina. They're looking for Macrillos more to then put it into the box, looking yeah. for Martin and uh, Rihanna Might. They did have to change their game plan a little bit because it started to open. It was very seen that you could shut Might down and there was no sort of other avenue. So here's Price against Wio. Wio keeps that in. Price goes back to Ellis. Both of them have a big leg on them, but don't choose to use it. They go to the captain, and Macrillos, dangerous. She lost control of it. It's turned over to Kazarina. Oh, well done. So, Walling with the throw in. And that one, Douglas couldn't control. That one goes straight out. So, six minutes in, we've had one real gettable goal that was missed and then Martin scored the four minute mark what a fantastic start to tonight's game yeah we're, we're, we're pumping here so here's Price big run up I think she gained a couple extra metres there with that, <laughs> that run up along the side well, oh here she goes great. again Sophia Macrillos goes to Myatt oh. oh that's a big tumble she gets up quickly They need to watch her. She's just offside. She gets herself on now. Here's Macrillos. Oh, Fulton. The one that you said to watch out for, Mina. Yes. Here she goes again. Just puts it there. Here's Hoffman. Hoffman's got the pace. Casacala comes out. Oh, well but Spicer can Spicer. run it in. She couldn't. It, it ricochets. Oh. It's going to go. Oh, oh she saved it. Oh. She saved it. <laughs> How did she do that? Oh. Tell you what, oh. I passed out there. <laughs> I can't do this for 90 no. minutes. <laughs> can I? Look, fantastic. Look, the girls got back there. The girls had their goalies back, which is fantastic to see. <laughs> Kathy Carla did that. make that uh, decision to come out, and then she did have her back line to cover her back, which is fantastic. And now it's uh, Katarina's first um, corner. corner. There's, a, there's a corner here. So the thing is, is that Spicer needed to lift that ball. Lift that. She needed to lift it. <laughs> she couldn't get the lift on it. We know that she can kick. She's got a big kick, so... Here goes. Oh, there's the replay. Look at that hit away, and it hits the woodwork. Ooh. Just on the replay, as we go back to normal play here, but just on that replay, it hit yes. the woodwork and went the other way instead of in. Uh, we seen with the highlights <laughs> package that Ireland hit the woodwork twice, and it twice went in. Twice, and it went in. Yeah. Not that time. For Twice ricocheted, though, of the goalie. Oh, that was a brilliant save. Absolutely brilliant. I've already busted me pen because I was banging it on, on the table. So there goes <laughs> Oh, it's through ball, but that's a Carla. She's on. She's moving very well after the she big is, clash her, last her week. Her movements look great. And there's the go-to player every time. 98% of the time, I would say, they go to Mike with the kick. And that number two player there for Hellenic is the second youngest on the pitch. She's also 15, a couple of months older than Sophia, I believe. So Yes. Two young guns, their first season in Women's Premier League and being absolute champions. So, you know, couldn't get to that one. It's it's lovely, just it's just awesome and deadly to see these young these young players, you know, ranking through, dominating the women's league. I reckon we're gonna see them in highlights packages for competitions down south, Mina, very soon. And here we go. I reckon we will. Deus needs to get there. She does, does well. Well, Deus has got a lot of experience, of course. She's playing against her old club, isn't she? she so is. she's so one she of you. She was, she was a goalie for them last year when it came to the grand final. That and they won. She, yeah, that they won. And now she's goalie for Kazarina this year's grand final. So it's a big occasion for her, I guess, playing against a club that I think she's played with pretty much the uh, entirety uh, yeah. of her entire... Uh, yes, correct. Football career up here. And very experienced as well. So Maya, they put it to space because look at her go. Deus, she says. Her day is, she's not oh, having it. She's, she's come straight out. She's obviously the got the work done on those hammies because she's in fine form yeah, there. She is. So Maya puts it through. That one had too much on it. So Deus, Fulton's begging for it out here. To the, yeah, to the um, right wing. 
She normally does play the corridor, but she's actually on the wing tonight. Oh, she has worked those hammies. Look at that kick. Beautiful. So, and we know Spice has got speed. Here we go. Ellis needs to be careful. She goes back. And pressure. Well done, Spicer. And a good kick from the experience. Hodeus there. The goalie. <laughs> because look at the ground she made. And now they're attacking. Now, probably one. So there's Macrillos, and I reckon she, she's on because Walling made her on. Hodeus has got to go there. She's oh. reading that well. And that's a game plan, Mina, that they've picked up. Kazarina working on is that the goal is coming right. out to get to yep. that ball where they put it to space for Myatt. Yeah, well, that's right. You know, Myatt has the speed. Myatt has the ability to leave and put on the afterburners. And um, it's a good decision that Hodeus is actually coming out to attack that ball. Which is a big ask of her, of, of course, the, the speed probably isn't her forte um, right now in her career as 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 both of us <laughs> as well but she's doing really really well to read that ball and get there so Coombe that's Mary Coombe one of the young guns so just working it around Price puts it over to Martin the goal score at the four minute mark sit in but just Let's just, oh, sorry, that was Kalitsis. No, it was Kalitsis, sorry. So here we go. So Hellenic on the attack. They did well. So Kajarina just, what we spoke about before the game, Mina, is don't give them space. Press on them and put pressure on them. And we find that Hellenic don't like that and get very frustrated. Yes. They just, they do, they need to shut those players down and definitely put the pressure on. Because if you don't, if uh, when it comes to a team like Hellenic, if you don't, oh, that's if you don't man up, they're going to run all over it. And well done to young Macrillos there because she's earned her team a corner. So the first corner for Hellenic and she's going to take it. I don't think, oh yeah, yep, yeah, we've seen her. She's leaning there, Myatt's calling it. So watch Myatt, watch Martin. Oh, that's a beautiful kick. Oh. So, and punched out by Andreas. So Andreas there, Myatt. She will go back to Ellie McCrillos. Oh, lovely footwork. And who's that come off? Reckon that's come off Douglas? No. No. It's going to go the way of oh, Kazarina. So fortunate there. Newton Aragon is going to take that throw. Bit of a calmness to the game right now because it started <laughs> absolutely it started on roaring. fire. Tell you what, if we weren't already pumped for the game, we are now. There's Might. It's over the top. Oh, she had the intention. The she knew what she was doing, but, there. <laughs> but the accuracy wasn't. No, nor the direction, which is, that's okay, because these <coughs> girls will come back from that. Um, you know, if, if she would have had the accuracy, definitely, that ball would have been over Hodrea's head. Yeah, she she was just off her line a little bit there. They're smart players, these girls. That's why they're in the grand final. Here's Fulton. Now, the last time we've seen Rachel Hoffman have a quiet start to the game, she came back tenfold. So, yes. with Douglas, I, you've got Spicer in the middle there with the speed, of course. She's on the far wing. I'm just not sure if I maybe would make the switch and just get her into the in the in the middle, in the forwards there. Maybe make the switch with her and Spicer. But hey, I'm not the coach, but. <laughs> I just, I just, I just feel you want her to get, 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 get touches more, on yeah, the ball. Get yeah, get more involved in the game right now. I mean, Spicer does have the um, speed. You know, she, she's got what it takes to be up top on the striker's position. But so, then you've got your duro, like uh, Douglas. Yeah, she's in the mid. She's in the midfield. So here's we are, We know she's up there because of her speed. So she puts pressure on Ellis. Now, Ellis. Ooh. Had a really hard week last week. She had Jasmine Anderson absolutely just peppering <laughs> away at her. And um, it's a brilliant game again from Jazzy Anderson. The uppers were unfortunate not to make it through. The score didn't reflect the game. There's Hoffman. You want to see her get involved early. There's the fireys with the sirens that they usually give off when Ooh. we're commentating. I'm sure they watch us. 
McCrillos. Beautiful dry season day here. There's my what well, is just just, yes, just a, it's about oh. twenty it's about twenty seven degrees. I mean it's been overcast <laughs> all day. It's a beautiful breeze coming through, it not is. too strong, but it's perfect conditions perfect. Yep. for grand final here today. And it is. It's a beautiful weather here tonight. Um, look, just Hodreas, she's making fantastic decisions there as a goalie. She's coming out when it's needed. So she's really, really on, on her feet. She's on her toes and she's making, you know, the most of her position tonight. And um, I'm li I'd really like to see her pursue a couple of more seasons or a couple of more years. But um, <laughs> I'll ask her at the end of the game. Yeah, the way the way that she's uh, she's going, I um, mean, during the season and tonight, she's definitely got a, a few more. So Wayo gets there. Oh, well oh. done, young Coombe. That looks like they're going to get their second corner here, Casarina. Looks fantastic pressure too from Wayo. She's seen the ball. She's seen the opportunity come in, and um, unfortunately, you know, Coombe took the take the ball out. So you're watching football NT Women's Premier League Grand Final. It only seems like a couple of weeks ago we started round one, man, and it's flown. It's been enjoyable. It has. Great competition, great skills, great sportsmanship. Probably the best sportsmanship yes, I've seen I agree. in a sport and a whole season of all the games that we have covered. Credit to the girls. Yeah, definitely. The clubs, because it's been great. There we go. There's legs. Perfect spot. But she's going to pop it back yeah, in. Yeah, she's going to get it back in. Yeah, that's even better this time. And, oh, oh. humble. Casacala. She's on it. Yeah, she, she is. <laughs> so, legs, Aeon Smith. She's made an impact already since missing the last eight weeks. Bolton looked like she was going for a smother then. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh, she's on here. But again, Mina. Reyes is Her there. Reyes. Yep, she's pushing out. She knows they're going to be looking for Maya. Oh, here here's Spicer. She's got the pace. She's going to go. The left foot, she does. Oh. And it's across the face. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's so <laughs> goes out. She's got the, she got to the ball. She's got there. She's got the speed, you know, the, um, the ability to get to the ball. But unfortunately, across the face of the goal, you know, these girls, Katrin just really got to get their accuracy right. They're getting the gameplay a little bit in form. But, um... Yeah, like you like said, you've got to shut down those key players. And there they go. There's the kick straight to Mide again. But I, And on Smith now, she's been helping in the coaching ranks the last yes. seven, eight weeks that she's been injured. And she goes and stands right in front of Myatt in front whenever there's a goal kick. So, oh, beautiful ball. They're on to it. Fulton's going to get there. Get the, oh, get this no. Just needed her legs to be a couple of inches <laughs> longer there. The stride, she was trying. Yeah, short legs, um, problems. Oh, yeah, I you know that. what that like. <laughs> Not that I'm Shush. much better. Hey? <laughs> yeah, six foot. Yeah, nothing. like uh, two metres or something. <laughs> Not even close, are we? <laughs> so, Ellis again now. Does she go to Myatt? And there's Anna Smith. She's looking, she's looking. No, she goes straight up the middle this time. There's Price. It forward, Martin puts the pressure on, and it's a free and kick. It's a free kick, yeah, going the way of Gagan. So she was the other one that was hiking, I believe. <laughs> yeah. A few oh. girls were hiking yeah, for Casarina, maybe getting that touch on, but you, but you got to remember the grand final was pushed back a week, so yes. some of these girls had prior engagements, engagements. Yes. and of course, with COVID that set in, instead of abandoning round 18, they played at the end of the normal round season, which Correct. pushed all the finals back a week. So some of these girls have oh. pre-planning. Here's Hoffman. Where's the left? There it is. Oh. And Casacala again. Oh. I'll tell you what. She's got my B.O.G. so far. <laughs> so far. You took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> she's on. You know, she's on it. So, kill us there. She kill us. That was Steph. Oh, she's on again. She's Martin. on. She missed the first. She got the second. And oh. just didn't have the power in the end. I think we were... Um, she might have been just a little bit offside, but, the, you know, the flag wasn't up, so she didn't, you know, wait for the whistle. She just kept going. Well done. That's right. Make the most of your opportunities. There's oh, a lovely touch. Beautiful touch. Walling oh. doesn't have the pace. She's got to try and get to her right. That's the only thing that young McCrillos oh. probably needs to work on is that left foot shot at goal. Wait till she starts firing up young McCrillos. I reckon she's got to... Big 
family gathering here, the McCrillosses. I reckon it's just about all of them over there on the field, to be honest. Shout out to the McCrillosses. <laughs> oh. Rio tries to put that through, but Young Coom again, she's a general in that back line, but only she 15 is. in her every, season. You know, the majority of the ball's coming her way. She has shut it down. So, also consistent. Maya, does she look up? She takes oh, back, she's, she's going to go to Martin. But hey, she needs to go to it. She does. Oh, oh it's missed it. Oh. oh. In that play, I don't think Mike was actually expecting that ball to come back to her. Oh, that'll be a good replay to watch that one because unfortunately there for Hellenic, but fortunate for Kazarina. So beautiful ball. Beautiful ball. Great timing. Yeah. Yep. Good run. And then she put it. Just put it. Oh. Yeah. When you're running that pace, you know, it's really hard to find your if, footing to control the ball, if especially her, in front of goals. If her leg was about an inch longer, she wouldn't have <laughs> booted that in. She was just off balance there. I don't so. think her legs can get any yeah, <laughs> longer than pretty long legs there. Is. So, with three real, real opportunities for Hellenic, but... I thought Rodeus again did the right thing by going out and putting the pressure on Martin, made her have to pass the ball. Yes. And that's great pressure coming from the goalie as well. Young McCrillos, she didn't make good connection with that. Kalitsis was coming through for Kajarina. That, and there's Might again. No one chased her. Deus comes through. She's copped. Oh, look like she copped an elbow to the head. I think, it, I think it's accidental. Totally accidental. It's not in Myatt's nature. No, no, it's not. And we know she's a physio. She always helps out when anyone is injured, whether it be her teammates. Just have a look at this um, so opposition. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, a bit of a, a, bit of like a fist. A, yeah, a bit of a um, backhand. A very... Um, oh, oh they <laughs> I actually didn't lose a tooth. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Very accidental. No no intentions in it at all. Look, I'm um, running at the pace and come, I'm surprised. She lost they her didn't shin fly. guard. She lost it. She lost. She did very, Just as very long as she didn't lose you know, the tooth. Lost her tooth. Yeah. She did well. I mean, she had to attack that ball. Otherwise, it was goal time. Yeah. Well, we say goal time, but they've missed two really good opportunities. Right in front yeah. of goals. Yeah. So, we just watch. There's the Hellenic side there just why well, there's a bit of break in place so we're going to go into a bit of extra time at half time like we need any more energy in this game <laughs> i'm going to play be spent after this game like i've played it's that exciting and, it and there's exciting a, there's the casuarina team we've just seen the casuarina team so just a, probably a good break actually for both teams it's yeah. been really really energetic start they've given everything in yeah Look, you can see the Hellenic players are coming for a drink. But then again, you can see the casual... They've regrouped. They've grouped um, right in the middle there. You've, you know, you can see a lot of hand action going. A lot of girls saying, you know, got to pick up your players. Just a little talk. The small talk in that group of Kajarina right now. The, they, best, the best thing for them, Mina, is their, who's been one of their assistant coaches for the last nine weeks. And Yon Smith is there. And she was taking that, uh, that group, that leadership there. And the talk of her actually out on the pitch compared to from the sideline yeah. is worth a million dollars to Casuarina tonight. Definitely. And they do need her out there. They need the legs. So, Madea, she's recovered. I thought it was a kick from the ground. Okay, I'm, 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 I thought it was a free kick just outside the box, but obviously not. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. But, hey, we'll <laughs> I thought it was just me, but okay. <laughs> it's all right, we'll play it. All right, there's Douglas. Well done. Two there. on one, fantastic. <laughs> She's gotten through two players. That was Lisa McCrillos that applied the pressure. Weo's on side. She's on side. They put their arms up, but she's on against Price. What does Price do? She and takes the easy road and um, takes the ball out. Sorry, but they look like they're setting up. No, so it's not a corner. I thought they were going back towards the, the goal line there, but it's a police kick. Might have but ricocheted off Weo. So Ellis is going to take it. So we're nearly 25 minutes into the first half. Gemma Martin scored the first goal and only goal so far in this game for Hellenic, the four-minute mark. You're watching Football NT Women's Premier League Grand Final here in Darwin. Beautiful Larrakia country. 
are excited to be calling this game. It's absolutely been a ripper to start with. Nina and I have been off our jazz already. <laughs> <laughs> Nelly passed out yeah, already. Too, too excited. <laughs> so there she is, John Smith Hoffman. <clears throat> really needs to get involved a bit more. Well oh, done, God, Douglas. Oh, oh, very, very late call. Ellie McCrillos, you've got a smile as well. <laughs> She's a big smile on her face. <clears throat> so, and the general from the back line, Aaron Smith, has been missing, but Jesse Newcomb. So, we had news yes. that we Beautiful have been, it is okay to actually say. So, so Jesse Newcomb is, ex oh, look at this ball. Oh, a great Ellis. Yeah, she got big so top. yes, going back to Jesse Newcomb is expecting. So that's who they're missing down in the back line. So congratulations. Well um, done, Jesse. Jesse played an absolute consistent game this season. So unfortunately not out there, but she is in spirit, no doubt. Down on the sideline. So there's Martin. Just puts it forward. Here's McCrillos, but Deus gets there again. Having a look at this uh, this gameplay, you've got Ellis in the back line. She can kick from anywhere. You've got Anon Smith. She can kick from anywhere. So you've got two big legs sitting right in the back line of each team. And you've got to watch for the kick over the top into that space because we know they've got fast runners. So there's Fulton. She started this play. Now she's up there, but Price comes along and saves a day. Price doesn't usually start the game. She usually comes on as a sub, but she started for the grand final. <coughs> Here's young McCrillos. Oh, I thought that hit Alling's Ooh, arm there, but yeah, it didn't. Look like a little bit of a handball. So what's McCrillos going to do? Yeah. She keeps it in. Oh, good dummy. Oh. oh. She shaped the kick it, then she, she took did. her on. Alling was... She did, and she had plenty of room. Um, she did have that room for her to be able to look up and see where the goals are actually out. Unfortunately, misdirection, the goals, uh, the ball went out. Not a good... Put a curve on it as well, but didn't go to the corner that she wanted. So Adeus, that's Douglas, usually fancy footwork. Doesn't let us down this time to Fulton. Fulton can go across to Hoffman. This is the player that needs to get more of the ball for Kajarina. Definitely. The captain, they're saying Spice is off. You've got to play the whistle, girls. You can see, you can see Ellis, Ellis is, is um, letting the, 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 <laughs> the frustrations out to the linesman. But you've got it. You've got to play the whistle. So, so they are pushing that ball back. Yep, yeah, it's coming back to where she was offside. So Ellis, now watch this. She's. We know she's got a big leg on her. Oh, where does she go? Leg. She goes towards the space. It's going to get over the top. Myatt is on her bike already. But oh, well done down there by Gagan. So she come across, well done. She needed to. You know when Alice takes a kick, she doesn't even look like she forces a, a big kick, doesn't it? She just, it just flows. Yeah, just natural. Just one step, bang. Yeah. We used to be able to do <laughs> stuff like that. For us to do that now, we're going to have to do 20 steps. The only bang. bang that you'll hear is my <laughs> hamstring snapping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So here she goes again. So Casacala. <laughs> Let's Ellis take this. So watching Football NT Women's Premier League Grand Final here in Darwin. Beautiful Larrakeer country. We've got a ripper of a game. The ref wants to get involved now, so. <laughs> Move out the way, buddy. No one wants to challenge it, so. Just play on. Bolton. Douglas. Oh, well done, McCrillos, but Douglas wins it back. Who's last touch? I think it was Hellenic's last. Oh, maybe not. Oh, so oh. Going the way of Hellenic. You can hear the wind coming through our mics. It, the sun has dropped. It's beautiful here. A beautiful dry season day. It is. It's been um, overcast. It hasn't gone over probably 30, 31, which is pretty good for Darwin's weather. Yeah. We're usually used to about 36 out there, but it's been lovely. We did say we might get rain later, later on tonight, but I think for this game, which we are fortunate for, the pitch looks absolutely perfect. So 
I reckon we've got a few tired players out there. We've hit the 30 minute mark and the intensity of this game <laughs> and the level that it's been played. Yes. It just couldn't go on for 90 minutes at no. that level. So Walling. That's so I don't even think the ref realised he just went with the players then and Martin really gave herself away. No poker face there with that. No. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Straight to Spicer. Bolton puts it through to Wio, but she wasn't ready. Ellis chops it off. Straight down to Macrillos. It's just always quick on her feet. Maya. Oh, well done. Well done. Newton Aragon. Now, we're used to her playing up forward. At the start we of the are. season, she played up yes. forward. She has Correct. the task on Maya. And I reckon it's to do with her pace and her experience. Yes that she's got the task. And the way she will slip in and out of gameplay as well, you know, she's, she's doing a, a good job so far, so she needs to keep up that intensity to shut her down every time she comes to, near the ball. And she did again, so she's just putting that pressure on her. I think Ellie McCrillos went oh. down. So we are, but look at young Coombe. <laughs> He's got a motor on her as well, the young 15-year-old. <laughs> They're quite fast, aren't they, these youngsters? Seems like eternity ago that I was 15. <laughs> but we were 15, <laughs> Mina. Jeez. Yes. All right, Casacalo, he, he, this is how you can tell that they just need a bit of a rest. She's waiting for someone to go to her. They're just taking a bit of a breather. <clears throat> we'll throw out to Ellis. Spicer gets there quickly. And again, just straight up the middle where the space is. Walling. Oh, so Fulton just oh, hopping there. Like, um, Price actually stood on her, stood on her foot there. You're not too happy there either, Fulton. I think about um, that. Fulton just looking at her um, performance tonight. She's actually not quite in the game. You can see she's kicking herself every now and then, but the frustration kicks in. Um, as soon as she starts burning up, you know she's unstoppable. Yeah, you can see she's trying to impact the game. She's trying to get herself in there. There's Newton Aragon. And this time, Hoffman's not up there because she's gone down to try and get involved in the play, I reckon. <coughs> Maya, this time, Newton Aragon's not there. Then she chases her down. She crosses it. It's not a good cross, but it comes off and on Smith. So it's another corner to Hellenic. They've got their second. Maya's going to take the corner, and we know she has an absolute ripper of a corner on her. She does. So watch Martin. Martin's at the top of the box. You can just see her number four. There's Myatt, a physio, just opened her own clinic. I've been trying to get her to my football club. Don't do it, Myatt. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the support, sister girl. You're welcome, sister. <laughs> so I reckon that's going to be another corner. That probably wasn't yeah. one of her best corners there by Myatt. Commentator's no, no, curse. No. She can actually lift that ball and majority of her corners will drop sweetly right in front of the goalie. Look at them all out of the box. They're ready. They've, they've you know, got you this got structure. Lisa McCrillos, number 12, um, putting a little bit of pressure on Anon Smith and um, the goalie. So, and then you've got your runners. You've got Ellis is coming in for a run. There we go. Hordeus gets up. She gets a fist to it. Martin's there. She needs to boot it. She does. But in the way was Gagan. Oh. McCrillos, she has another crack. Oh, oh Deus. Oh, Deus. Oh. Well done. <laughs> McCrillos was in that perfect spot to receive that ball. And she took the hit, she took the kick. I, I think my, uh, if we've had some good players on the pitch, but I reckon the goalies so far have got the oh, BOGs. Yeah, I think they've got <laughs> our best um, on ground at the moment, the goalies. And it is a hard task for them tonight, especially against both two awesome teams. Yeah, and especially the, the golden boots on each team. So you've got yeah. Rihanna Might, number seven. So for Hellenic and number nine, Hoffman. So, yes. it's got the CEO that doing a bit of a shout out. So, here's Hellenic. John Smith has pushed up. So, she's moved up into the midfield by the looks of it, Mina. And on Smith, there she's creeping forward. All done. Fulton, she gets it back. That's, That's a handball. Hand oh, it's a yes, I was gonna Who's say. going to take this? And on Smith. And on uh, uh, legs have to take this. So, Fulton, you said she needed to get in the game. She's trying to impact she the game. 
and she did there. So here we go. Spicer's got no, the ball. But, um, he's going to take this Spicer. Now we I know she she's got a powerful, very very powerful yes. kick, but so it's direct. It's not indirect. It's direct. So there goes the wall. You can see the wall there. There's Spicer, Nana Spicer. And Ellis just shuffling. The ref is just <laughs> to the, the players, uh, Hellenic players, geez, they, the they were pretty, oh, When they set up their wall, I thought, that's a bit close. But, yeah, he's, he's yeah, moved no, them he, back. He's, he's moved them back. And um, I'm not quite too sure. I think she will she will try and hit this. Casacala's in good form. She's seeing and reading the ball really well. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. She's on Are we going to be on... Off our chairs, Mina. Here we go to level. I've got to breathe. <laughs> to level the scores. Spicer. Let's see what she does with this. <laughs> Mike jumping up and down in the wall, trying to put her off. She does a jump. It's a curved Ooh. kick for Casacala. It didn't not, have not enough too much on it. motion was in that kick or power. You know, I think she was just a little bit thinking it was a walk in the park. Um, look, and she's back on the ball. She wins the ball back. And I thought really need to make the most of the All opportunity. Right, legs. 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 Yeah, we like Take legs. This. Legs. She's up forward. We're, we're screaming out. Yeah, we need to. We're screaming out for legs to take this. Need number 17. Litsis has got a good kick as well, but. So she's going to take this. So Nikki. Sorry, Georgie. No. And ball is out. So now we've so got Kalitsis, the Kazarina throwing. Do look for Wio? Wio is on. Oh, but well Ooh. done. Kill us. What's she going to do? Spicer keeps it in. Oh, well done by Ellie McCrillos, the captain for Hellenic. But Douglas has it. Three against her. She weaves around. Macrillos to Macrillos to Myatt. Myatt puts it through for Ellie Macrillos, her captain. She's got the pace and well, oh, well done. done. Gagan there. So the throw going the way of Hellenic. Nothing in that. Gagan had already done the sliding tackle and then Ellie Macrillos come over after that. So nothing in that. No free kick. Just watch on replay here. I mean, a lovely through ball. But Beautiful Gagan through ball. just timed it, went to kick it. Well done. Yeah, and then she did. Beautiful fell over. timing by her. And they are pretty um, <coughs> unpredictable too you, when you come, come in for a slide tackle. So Klitsis and Aaron Smith nearly butted heads there. Fortunately for them, they didn't. Couldn't have ended well, I don't reckon. So Fulton, Weo, but Casacala's come out. Full of confidence, Casacala. She? she is very full of confidence at the moment. Oh, beautiful ball. So, Krillos again tries to shut that down. It's come off McCrillos. So, going the way of Kazarina. They just need to move it quickly. They do. Well done, Walling. So, I reckon we've got about eight, nine minutes left in the game. We're going to have a little bit of extra time for half time to come. Douglas to Wio. Now, remember, this is her first full season of Premier League, Wio, yes. so she's still learning the game. Here's Hoffman. Gets around one. she got a lethal left. She goes on to the right. She goes again. Oh. And a beautiful oh. tackle by Lisa McCrillos Jesus. not to give away a penalty yes. in the box. Oh, Hoffman. Nina, you were tap dancing there. I oh. know. <laughs> so... We're First Ellis one, with Number the kick. So we just <laughs> Bruce again, the CEO Bruce. of, of <laughs> football. Do someone get, shout someone out. grab that <laughs> microphone off him. <laughs> <laughs> We're the only ones talking here. <laughs> it's Tasha and Mina show. Yeah, <laughs> TWMC. Yeah, I like that. So Maya grabs it quickly. So we hit nearly 40 minutes so far. We will at least be two minutes of extra time. So seven minutes. Love to see Kajarina level it up, Mina. I'd love it to be yeah. a draw at halftime. Krillos. Twinkle toes. Isn't she? <laughs> Sophia, the youngest person on the pitch, 15 years old. 
brilliant, bright future ahead of her. Can't wait to watch what she does. So Fulton, Blitzes, Rio. Needs to time the run with Spicer now. We know she's got the okay. pace. Needed more on that. Coombs there watching her. She's going to go over to Hoffman. The kick's there. Oh, so Ellis. Chalakos saved the day back there in yes. the box for Hellenic. She's been so consistent for them. I mean, it probably goes underrated. Oh, definitely. Chalakos? Yeah, 100%. definitely. Chalakos, there she is. Hillis, back to Chalakos. To Myatt. Back to Mike, but Gagan's reading that well as well. She's really helping Newton Aragon, but Mike just kept keeps it in. persisting. And a beautiful kick, and it goes across. Oh, the court. she just got hands to it. Luckily, well clean. <laughs> well Walling done. was there for Adeus because yes. if Martin was there, that was hitting the back of the net. Oh, definitely. Well done to the cleanup. So I'd like to. See, she was dead set on the on the sideline. She was on the paint when she kicked that. Myatt, Price. Now, I don't think she met that pass, but it ended up going to her <laughs> teammate. To Coombe. To Myatt. Beautiful ball. Lovely touch. One, and two. Back. back to Myatt. She's got a strong leg. No, not this time. Then she goes across. Martin uses her body well. Walling gets a boot to it. Ellie McCrillos to Martin. Martin crosses it to Lisa McCrillos. And Hodeus again, the right spot. Goalie. Now that's a good kick as well if it gets over the top. Which Spicer, but it doesn't. So Hellenic looking to attack again. Oh, well done, Hoffman. She's trying to get herself into this game, Mina. She is trying. Look, um, well, I'm just looking at the Casarina team and where, where they have been playing all season, you know, they have made some game plan. And if that game plan, that new game plan is not sticking, go back to the old one where eventually that when they were dominating Just into push. the positions. Yeah, you, you, you're right, I think. No panic stations yet. It's it's very his and on Smith. So well done to Fulton. She was pushed in the back there. So wins the free kick. And on Smith, she's going to look for Hoffman. Oh, oh if you ball. don't mind. Boom time. <laughs> Douglas. Oh, she, her, she was... Held back then, and that's going to go wide. So, see our cameraman back there. Just I think the battery's gone flat there. <laughs> cool as a cucumber walking back yeah. there on the screen. I'm just going to change this. <laughs> they do a good job they do every week boys. here with us, our crew. Couldn't do it without them. Ellis again. Look at this. No, have Alice. a shot, have a <laughs> shot. <laughs> Give her some space, let her have a shot. Oh, come on. Let's <laughs> have a hold in. <laughs> so, oh, Douglas wins it. Rio. Oh. Fortunate that there, so it's going that. the way of Price, I think. Who's Ellis? I think it was Ellis. It's against Ellis. Yes. That's a free kick. And you're on Smith. And on Smith. Come just on. Take it. Sister girl, just take it. Take the kick. She's going to kick. The breeze is coming into the grandstand. So you can see on the screen, it's actually coming straight into our face here. So she's going to kick it slightly into the breeze. But she has the power. And we've asked and we've been rewarded. She's going to take it. She is. She is going to take it. Now, now I'll tell you what. The last place I would want to be. The yep. last time, the last place I'd want to be is in that wall. In that wall. <laughs> in if you want to keep your teeth, <laughs> I'd be turning my back. <laughs> you can hit me in the back and, of the um, head. Just have a look at the game plan. They've got Fulton out on the wing by herself. So if Anna and Smith does look up and receive uh, pass it off, which she probably won't at this stage, it looks pretty clear that she's going to go for goal. It's just before half time. She does a lovely kick and drop. Oh, it is a crossbar. Oh. But I reckon it's come. Oh, it's hit the crossbar. It, it has beautiful kick. But if you see the the positioning from um, Casacala, she was right there. Her hands, you know, she didn't give no room at all between her and the crossbar. She doesn't look like, you know, she doesn't have that much height to her. But she got a good jump. She's got a good jump because her hand was there with that with that crossbar. Yes. So really on tonight. I'm really loving her performance. Her. 
You know, oh, the way, yep, the way she's looking, uh, she's on a toe, she's keeping up with the ball. You know, and she does, you know, goalie is the hardest position, I think, out there. Yeah, gets through 10 other players to get to you. So, red time there, two minutes, as we've just heard. So, two minutes, extra time before half time. <laughs> Kent Casarina equalised before half time. Need to be careful. Just before oh, half time wow. last week, the Yuppers levelled the score with Hellenic and then they come back and kick two goals in extra time yes. before half time. Oh, well Absolutely done. amazing. So, Douglas, they're trying to get oh. it. It's Spicer, she's on. Oh. Chalakis again. Chalakis. Well done, Chalakis. She's really keeping up with that game back there. She's really shutting the ball down every time it comes to her um, direction. So Hoffman throws it in. Newton Aragon will go back to Hoffman. They've got less than a minute. And Hellenic have the throw. So they won't want to give it away this field position. Well done, Douglas. Coom. Oh, here goes Mayant on the bike. Blitzes gets there. She's going to go all the way yep. back to Hordeas. The right thing to do. They can't probably get the goal before halftime, but they do not want to concede one either. So, on Smith. Oh, oh, Ellie McCrillos. Oh, well oh. done. Gagan, I think that was. Yes. Out to Martin. Martin to... Oh, oh if you this don't mind. skills. <laughs> Oh, okay. Maybe a handball. It was a handball. Yeah. Hit her in the back of the arm. Oh, well, look at that. Just a slick little pass back. So, oh, here we go. This will be it. If the ball goes out, the ref is close to calling half time here. She's dragged down, waiting for the whistle. There, there we go. We have half time here. Football NT Women's Premier League Grand Final. It's 1 0. Gemma Mark scored the first goal and only goal in the game for Hellenic, the four minute mark. We look forward to the second half. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, do put your hands together for the little mini roos going out to entertain you at half time. Little rowdies and little hellenities. Little blues. Also, at half time, we'll have the fastest female footballer in an 80 minute sprint in front of you. And we're also seeking anybody who'd like to help play some of our mm. best players who can throw the ball a long way from a throwing that will also be happening at half time. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> you 
lost your plough. <laughs> oh no. Malika praying for you. And security, come and move the security. Hey. Welcome to the halftime segment here. We've got Hellenic taking on Kazarina. 1-0 the score is. A brilliant first half. I didn't think they could keep that intensity for 45 minutes, but they did, Mina. <laughs> brilliant game so far. Yeah, fantastic game. Look, like <laughs> like we said, both teams did uh, start off with guns firing. Um, the thir first, say, 10 minutes was just bang, bang. They were on. Yeah, you could tell they mm. just ran out a little bit of puff towards halftime. They were <laughs> looking forward to halftime. But it's now time to check out some of the action from the Queensland Women's Premier League. Here are the highlights of last week's match between Olympic F FC and Virginia United. So 2-1 win there to Olympic FC. Pretty good game and some great, great, great highlights oh, as well. Yes. But the competition down there, you can just see that next level. Looking forward to hopefully some of the girls, the young guns that we're seeing tonight down playing in those competitions. Oh, 100%. And there is a few of our young girls that should be playing. I'll, I'll give them probably about a year or two. Yeah, there, there's mm. a few, few good ones out there. But now for something new, NITV has a special relationship with the Gaelic language a TV station in Scotland called BBC a L B. Wow. All right. Okay. So, and they've kindly allowed us to bring you some highlights from a recent game between S Celtic and Glasgow City in the Scot Scottish Women's Premier League. So let's check out the action from these great clubs, and we'll catch you after the break for the second half of tonight's grand final. Hope you can stay with us.
So welcome back to the second half. Ready, Hellenic have a corner. So they're leading 1-0. And in the first 30 seconds, they're having a corner kick. So here's Myatt. Good kick. Tries to look for Ellis. It gets to the back. Trachillis is there. And then, boom. And on Smith just clears that ball. So 1-0. The first half was action-packed. <laughs> High intensity. Nothing else can explain it. The girls gave absolutely everything. Every single player that was out there. But 1-0 to Hellenic. Gemma Martin scored the four-minute mark. Numerous opportunities for both teams. More so Hellenic. Should really be in front by a couple more. Fortunately for Casarina, it's only 1-0. So what can the second half bring? And Mina, what can Casarina do really to, to try and get that equaliser? But in saying that, they didn't have a bad first half. No, but, uh, both teams started off fantastic in that first half. The first half was awesome. You know, like you said, it was packed with action, excitement. Even we were off our chairs. Look, this second half, I think, uh, Kajarina, what they need to do is restructure their team. Get back to, I say, where they were in the beginning of the season up till now. Um, and just finish off. Just finish off their goals. They get it up there, but they're just not finishing. So... They really need to score first, says the coach. So looking for space. It's to the back. Ellie McCrillos had a good game. Weo Douglas tries to get it out to Hoffman. Maria Bilius has come on for Hellenic. I think, no, I'm not quite sure who's come off during the halftime break. So one sub made. I don't think, by the looks of it, Casarina have made any. There's Fulton. Really need her to lift in this second half if Casarina yes. are to win this grand final. Football NT Women's Premier League grand final you're watching here in Darwin. Beautiful Larrakia country. Deus, the best on grounds so far are the goalies. And by far ahead would be Kasakala, her first year for Hellenic. So they're on the attack, Hellenic, and the, the ball goes out. So Deus with the kick. It is definitely a tough gig, isn't it, uh, to be a goalie? You know, having these uh, balls smashing at you. But um, look, both both goalies, like we said, and we mentioned numerous times, Tash, they are both doing their job. They're both just fantastic right now. Who's might 
And Newton Aragon has done a brilliant job Stop on her shutting it down tonight. And Talakis did not take a backward <laughs> step. Now, that's a hit that you see in football or rugby. But Talakis, again, just so consistent. Just love the way she, she goes is. about yeah, it. Very underrated, does. like we said in the first half. But plays her part. There she is again. So three impacts just then in the last 20 seconds, Chalakis. Newton Aragon goes to Douglas. Douglas is trying. She just can't find the space that she's used to. Douglas says, and Macrillo's Maya. It's true. She's going to have a shot. She goes to the left. She does now. And oh, Aya oh, saves it. <laughs> oh, she saved it. Oh, well done. The experienced goalie. Bit of feeling into this game to start the second half, but what a save by what a good deadly Hordeas. save there, Hordeas. Maya, she went on to her powerful left foot. We know she can kick both feet, but she went on to her powerful left. Here she goes again. She crosses this one over. Calling for the offside of Daya. She saves it she's again. <laughs> she's not taking anything right now, isn't she? What did she <laughs> have at half time? <laughs> wow. Look, we. well done. You know, look, she's she's on it. Look at this, Mina. Look at this. Just as the oh, left. The left. Bang. She's there. It's like she judged. She knew. She knows her game play. She knows how Mike kicks. You know, she's judging that ball. She's judging it well. So well done to Hodeus in there. So it's in the box. Klitsis clears that. That was Newton Aragon, sorry. Here's Douglas. And this is this little bit of space, but they're shutting down her space. We owe. Spicer went the wrong way. Young Coombe. She's going to get it back. Up the line to Myatt. Myatt down the line to Ellie McCrillos. But Newton Aragon's there. They both challenge each other. Play on. Newton Aragon trying to oh. get to her feet. Then she's bowled over by Ellie McCrillos. Myatt comes in. And on Smith gets her foot to it. Myatt's there again. She's got her right. She does. Oh, it's in. She's got, she's got <laughs> it. Myatt over the top of Ordea. So he's got... The second what for a Hellenic. beautiful kick. <laughs> so she went to the left, then she went to the right. She did. Bang. She looked at, oh, look. That there for her day is a little bit unpredictable. But, hey, well done to Mike. You know, she couldn't, you can't shut her down. What she's on a roll, she's on a roll. And fantastic kick. She just Great presses goal. and presses and presses. Watch this. So this replay, you know, you, you, they're quite banked up in the middle. But then you've got Here Mike she goes. coming in. In the box. But look, she... There, bang. Oh, she got a hand to it. Corday has had fingertips to that. Here she goes again. So one of the golden, shared the golden boot award with Rachel Hoffman, the captain of Casarina that's going number nine there. You can see on screen. But the most important goal that counts in grand finals. So she's got the second on the board for Hellenic. Casarina must score the next goal. The way this game's been going, Mina, I just feel they have to get the next goal. Yeah. The Spicer. So both goals to Hellenic scored. Oh! So Spicer, that's hit her. And Smith, she's got a bit of pace. She was making sure Spicer was okay. This oh. is dangerous again. Ordeas comes out. She boots it. Uh, the flag was up in that one, so yeah, um, young McCrillos was a little bit offside. The flag is up, so they're taking it back to where the players. So I'm not quite too sure who's going to take this. If Legs is going to take it, um, and on Smith. Yeah, I reckon she's playing in the midfield, so maybe. So maybe Clips is has actually taking yeah, this. Just um, well done there, Odeus. Yeah. She's powerhousing right now. She's coming through to every ball. She is making that decision to push out as a goalie and to meet that ball halfway. So here we go, Klitsis. Couldn't get the lift on it. This is dangerous. And on Smith, just reefs Rihanna Wyatt back out of the way. <laughs> she's, um, she is a um, strong player, isn't she, yeah. Legs? And on Smith. She got away with that one. Here's Hoffman. Hoffman's got to get into the game. Wadeus again. McCrillos. No. Wadeus. Oh! And it's going to come back to oh, Good save, Hordeas. She's showing her experience, isn't she? She, she has, definitely is. She, 
She she's, is. She saved Katarina numerous times tonight. The score would be a lot different. Ooh, it would be. So she's keeping them in the game. Mordeus, her team need to lift her forwards. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but is the quietest Katarina forwards. Douglas probably isn't having the impact she's used to. They're shutting down her space. Hoffman, the ball's not getting to her. We just watch on replay here. Hordeus will come out. Young twinkle toes here. Macrillos, she controls it, but good timing. Deus didn't take the ball itself, but luckily for her, she had teammates around to clear the ball. Oh, well done. <laughs> and Smith, Leo. His legs. Tries to get it over to Douglas. She didn't, so it's going to be a throw in to Helene. Helene. So they just need to keep lifting, keep their heads up here, Kazarina. Just need to be very careful that the mind doesn't start thinking negative thoughts. Would you behind by two? That said, it's still it's still early in the second half. Um, Kazarina really needs to pick up their gameplay right now. They're feeling like they're a little bit uh, scattered. So Spice has done well. She gets around one. Kroom will. Put it out. So Hoffman, she's over this side now. She's in the middle where we wanted her. The middle forward. We want her getting the ball. If they can score quickly, it's through Hoffman. She is the key to this Casarina side. Hoffman and Douglas, they play so well together as a duo. There goes Hoffman. Now we know her experience. And unfortunately for Hoffman, that's come off her boot last. So goalie kick. So I... Uh, Kajuri definitely needs to keep it in this half. So Hoffman, can she lift her Kajarina side back? Wouldn't it be exciting if we fielded oh, wow, oh. a draw and we had extra time? Golden point. Imagine that. That would be brilliant. But Golden point, yeah, down to the penalty pl uh, play out. So Wouldn't that be exciting? Look at Maya. She's onto it. She throws it in quickly. It didn't work for them that time. You know, I just love the way she's always on check of the game. She's always mm. thinking. She grabs the ball quickly. She knew the space Kazarina hadn't set up. You know, th this slows down the game a little bit, which Kazarina probably don't want. They need the space. They need the urgency. Yes, they do, definitely. So here's Douglas to Wio. Coombe comes over. Wio wins it back. They've got an opportunity here. What does she do? Gives it to Spicer. That's it. That's it. A hand, but play on. Oh, Ellis. Ellis. Well done. And the ball's still active. This ball is still in we play. We've still got it. Oh. Oh, and on Smith. Oh. Let her have a crack. <laughs> From Give there. her the ball. <laughs> Here's Douglas. Douglas chips it over the top. Spice has got speed. Oh. Casacala. Casacala. Oh. Effort. She's come back. She's come out to meet that ball. Well done, Casacala. So first season for Hellenic. What a wonderful season it's been as well. Calypsis needs to be careful. We know what Maya can do in space. And she just keeps pressing and pressing and pressing. Well done. Good pressure Calypsis actually put on Maya then and shut that ball down. Because if Maya would have had any space, she would have taken straight to the goals. So Calypsis tries to move the ball quickly. Maya wasn't even ready, but still somehow controls the <laughs> ball when it nearly goes and hits her face. Just unreal skills, this lady. And on Smith. And <laughs> Smith head that ball. <laughs> She's looking for rain. <laughs> so here's Bolton, another one that really needs to get in. Yeah, she does. She, she, I think, um, yeah, she needs to get into the game. You know, but full credit to Hellenic. They've shut down their space. Hoffman can't get the ball. Douglas doesn't have the space. Bolton doesn't have the space that they're used to. Hellenic have... Oh, here she goes again. Newton Aragon, she's under pressure. It's going to stay in just. She's going to make it. She made it. Oh, well done, Mike. She wins it back the left across the face of goals. And on Smith, look, it went that way. Oh, well done. Here she goes. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. She's just, clear, she's just clearing. Just the, the header, mind you, mean it. Just the direction of it. I was holding my breath, hoping. And Hordeus is down oh. in the back play. She doesn't look well. So just off screen. You can Not see it really pan sure. out there. See, I didn't see what happened there. She does look like she's down in a little bit of pain and agony. Not quite too sure if she 
pool. I'm not quite. I'm not quite sure. We didn't see that actually, Tash. Too busy watching the um, game and where the ball was going. So Anon Smith, you can see just direction. Here we go. So. Oh, she's been shot by a sniper. That <laughs> 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 So, I reckon cramp. Yeah, it looks like Mate, cramp. Yeah, cramp. Because her, le yeah, you could see her left foot sort of gave way a bit. Um, it's, yeah, either, it's either cramp or just the change of direction that she tried there. She's yes. got her knee heavily strapped there now. No, I have a but bung hey, knee. She, she's a machine. She'll get up. I have a bung knee. So sometimes the change of direction, you just sort of lose, um, lose that power in your leg, and it buckles underneath you. So let's hope that it is just cramp. So Sharon's out there, Aunty Sharon. We all know Aunty Shaz. Ani Shaza. There she is. Oh, that was fast. She gets numerous awards for her volunteer work as a trainer. Oh, she's Done amazing. Every single sport you can think of for as long as I can remember. It's helped numerous teams. So we're just watching the side there's Kazarina. So what can they do? So we're gonna have a bit of extra time again at the end of full time here. So Kasharina, they Look, need... They do. They need to come back. I would definitely put Fulton in the midfield. She controls the game a lot better when she's actually working that corridor. I would put uh, Douglas and Hoffman. I'll put them up as a duo. And then I would push someone like Spicer. Uh, midfield, uh, you, can, you can play a mid or left or right. She's got that pace. So I feel that we've got... We've still got Sales, Ashley Sales... As a sub, Sophia Pablo, mm -hmm. um, Soraya Mowboy Hudson, yeah. So Jess's niece, still on the sub, so hasn't come on yet. We know that Hellenic have made one change so far. So just seeing what's going to happen here. So Pablo looks like she's taken off the trainer's top or the sub top, sorry. So she might be coming on. They're just doing a bit of a reenactment of what happened to Hordea. So she's still down this and they're looking for the stretch amina. I think it is her knee. I think her knee did buckle. Mm. Um, unfortunately, really, Kazarina cannot afford to lose her right now. And the stretcher is coming off. So I think that's the end of the um, game for Hordea. So the concern is, is that who's the backup goalie for Kazarina? So security has got the task of taking out the stretcher. <laughs> Good work, good work, security guy. Uh, I'm not I'm quite too sure um, who would be their backup goalie. So we did the, there's a few discussions down there. So so I think Soraya Mowboy Hudson. They're trying to. She looks she looks a bit frustrated down there. And it looks yeah. It looks I reckon like they're they, gonna put her in the um, position. I reckon <laughs> they're I reckon they're trying to work out who's going to go in goals. You can see them having numerous yeah. discussions on the side here. On screen, we're keeping an eye on Hordeus there, but there's numerous discussions down here with the coach on what's going to happen, who's going to go in goals. The last thing they would have expected tonight is the goalie to yeah. go down, and she's had a brilliant game. She has. Look, if, if, if you had to rank one, two, three, the, the, the best player so far is Casacala. Hellenic's goalkeeper, and then Hordeus is, is number number two yeah. in, in my eyes. I totally agree. I agree with that. And it's going to be really hard to try and replace her about now, especially when you're, uh, you know, it's 2-0. Katarina really needs to come back and pull a rabbit out of the hat. Yeah, I was hoping it was cramped, but you can see the grimace on her face. She's very, very upset, so it's something a lot more severe. Yeah, and I think the, it's her actual knee. Just, has just, buckled. Yeah, just from having a bung knee myself and just the way that she went to turn and not a player around. And sometimes that what makes it even worse when, it it's, does, when, it's, yeah. when it's sort of not... If there's no impact, yeah. then it does because your body will turn one way, your legs won't, you know, fit in with the right direction. And um, we've seen it through all our sporting, you know, careers. We have seen so our players have gone down. Don't, no impact, but it's just the way that they have turned, the position of their body. So I reckon Anon Smith, I reckon there are no Mowboy Hudson. There's discussions down there. Someone's got gloves. Anon Smith's got the gloves, but I think they're trying to... Soraya Mowboy Hudson, yep, she's... She looks a bit upset there. Hordeus goes into 
the medical room. And I think they're trying to... She's a bit upset. There she is. She's going to take her top off. She's going to step up for her teammates. So she needs a different coloured shirt, of course, to the rest. And I reckon she's going to go on as goalie. A big step up, Mina. This is this it is, is a, a this is a, a grand final. Step up. This is a grand yeah. final. If if you're not used, to, it's a key key position. It's not easy to just step in and become no. the goalie, especially in a grand final against a powerhouse like Hellenic. And that's right. And especially if you haven't actually <laughs> played that position all season and then you just got thrown into the deep end because your main goalie is unfortunately injured and you've got to come in to replace her and come in to try and fill those big boots that she has been playing awesome all game. They needed Tana Casemiro on the bench. Yeah. She was a standing goalie for the first couple she of was. games. <laughs> Shout out to Tana. She's definitely listening to us tonight. Now we've got Pablo coming on for Wio. I think they're Mina. Still no changes during that break to Hellenic. <clears throat> and my boy Hudson is just getting her gear sorted, I suspect. Oh, this is this is crucial. This is this is heartbreaking for Katarina. This is now uh, it is actually a game changer right now. So here she is now, not what she expected. She would have looked forward to this game all week, and, and the last thing she would have expected was that <laughs> she has to play golf right into the deep end. Look, and she's probably standing there, and she's probably actually like shivering in her boots, thinking, now, "Oh my god!" Now, of, now of course, this is a girl that was on a singing competition. Not long ago, done so well. First time she sang in front of an audience, oh, even amazing, her boy. auntie that didn't even realise she was yeah. doing it, Jess. <laughs> so her family would be proud of her. So she's well, let's see if her goal skills are better than her singing skills, hey, tonight. But she has big, she does have big boots to fill. And um, look, good luck. I reckon, in there, darling, I, I, because I'm, I'm hoping that her that her, her goalkeeping skills are as good as her singing yes. because she can sing this girl. She can sing, so there she is, just warming up. I just feel, I just feel, because this is the last thing you expect. You in your mind, you prepare for the game. That's right, and no way on earth would she have thought that she would be thrown into that position at all tonight. So here we go. So we're going to have a bit of extra time now. Will this motivate Kajarina? So there's Fulton. Spicer fell over Fulton. She's trying to lift. She's trying to push herself in now. Another thing that you just want to is that going in goals and then you know you've got someone like Myatt and then someone like Martin and McCrillos that are going to be banging balls at you. So <laughs> you're like, it's daunting, but full credit and respect to my boy Hudson that's taking one for the team to put her hand up to go in goals. Oh, there we go. No. So Hoffman. Klitsis. Now her Kazarina's back line needs to do their best. Just hit her, go, just hit her. Kazarina's back line really need to do their best to stop that ball going down there to help take the pressure off my boy Hudson. So here we go. Coom. Killis. Newton Aragon. To Douglas. Just didn't have enough power on that kick to get it over to Fulton. Now Spicer is actually pushing up to get that little bit of um, pressure on the goalie, but there's no. They don't, I just don't see there's any other pressure from coming from Kajuna oh, right now. Oh, this no communication there. They're going to go back to. She's got to kick it. She was aware well of that. Well done. Oh. Didn't keep it in though. That's all right, Kajuna. It is Hellenic throw-in. Well done, at Malboy Hudson there. Realised, we've seen a couple of times the goalies pick up the ball when it's been kicked back by their, we their have own seen players. That. So, um, a, a couple of, we've seen it twice with the, with new goalies. But yes, she was on the ball for that already. So, well done. So she obviously got that knowledge behind her as um, not to pick up the ball when it's passed back. Now I know her other auntie is a gun soccer player. So. Sophia Mowboy and uh, AFL player. So hopefully she's got some of those skills oh, from that auntie. She's got the singing it's a from family <laughs> affair when it comes to Mowboy. They're just skilled. No matter what they do, it's like yeah. So she does. Um, look, I, I'm really nervous for her right now and there, but I think she's going to do fantastic. 
So that's gone out. Maya, they're really putting the pressure on her. They're bowling her and over. And they do. She's... They need to shut her down. Yeah, just a bit of body on body. Larkus with the throw in here. So I reckon we had about oh, close to close to eight, nine minutes um, of hold up of play while yeah. they brought Hordeus off. And um, I hope Hordeus is okay. And we might get some word, hopefully. Um, well, you're going to go down there and do an interview at the end of this game. So make sure you stay with us because Mina's going to go do her first on-ground interview with the winning captain so you can hopefully get a bit of a word. Yeah, we get some info while I'm down there and see how <laughs> she's going. Hope the injury um, uh, is not too bad. So, kill us. Oh, she kept that in, Maya. Fantastic. Here we go. Anon Smith. Uh -huh. Nuke Narragon. That's a good kick. Oh, often. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she's a bit off her game. For her to miss that, I, I, sometimes it's, it just doesn't go your way when you want it to. Oh. So, let's list out there. Now, the other, the other player that thinking there was, there was a Macrillos miss, missing, Joanna. Joanna, Joanna. She, yes. She's been miss consistent for them this season as well, so. Yeah, so um, Joanna Macrillos. But we do have the normal, you know, the three, Macrillos, Sophia, Lisa, and Ellie. Yeah, you but they've been dominating all season, which is fantastic. So, and on Smith. Makes that one clear. Yes. It's a bit quiet down there with the vocals right now. I don't, I can't hear, um, you know, that they're oh, talking. She's, she's around. Here's Martin, looks up. She's got might in the box. Macrillos. That's young Sophia. Well done. Oh, well done, Walling. Walling used her body. Then they're pulling. Not happy with that was Martin. Against Gagan. Oh, this is the in back play there. A bit of feeling. Bit of push and shove. That's the first time we've seen that so far in this competition. So the feeling's gone into the game, and I, I think Kasharina really need to get under the skin of Hellenic Mina I, I, just to try and upset the apple cart just a bit, put them off their yeah. game. They need to do everything they possibly can to try and peg back this game. And, and they do. And um, what I'm looking at <laughs> is that the Kasharina midfield aren't keeping up with the play. They're not putting the pressure on in the back line. That kick's got too much on it. So Mowboy Hudson picked this one up. Let's see what she does with this. She's going to kick it. Beautiful. There you Great. go. Good kick. Good girl. So here we go, Martin. Oh, down the here line to Ellie McCrillos, who's in the box. Sophia McCrillos, but it goes further than that to Myatt. Pablo, who's come on. And on Smith, she's got some space. She puts it over to Spicer. Oh, oh Coombe read it well. Coombe, oh. isn't, she, she's, isn't she fantastic for the smallest player out there? Doesn't she do well in reading the ball, reading the back play? 15 years old. So, Litsis thought was through. There's Anon Smith. She's got so much power. Here's Hoffman now. Go, Hoffman. Hoffman. She needs to. She does now. On the right, she has a shot. Oh, over the top. Oh. oh, that was a close one. Hoffman got there. Hoffman had the defense and the speed behind her. Unfortunately, just a little bit over that crossbar. Oh. But this is what they need. This but is exactly what Helene yes. needs right now. She needs to get involved. She needs to get more into the game plan. So, Hoffman, that's what we know she can do. Excitement. That's like right. Maya, that's why she... Finished equal with her as the top goal scorer. The golden boot both of them got. Hoffman's demanding it. She gets it from Fulton. They Fulton. go over to Fulton. She's going to cross it. Spicer's in there. Spicer. Oh, no, well done. Well done. Read that belt ball really well and read the play. And she was on her feet. She, she kind of like cut off that angle as well, which is fantastic. Well, she's just reading the ball so well. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like a ballerina. That's, that's, that's one way to, to go at it. But this is going to, they're going to keep it in. They do. They need to. Go, go. Yeah. I've got about 20 minutes left, Kajarina. And they go into a little bit of overtime. 
And on Smith, so Coombe. No panicking, anything like that, the young girl. So 15. You can hear a bit of chat down from the Casarina bench. Just to hang in there. They need to keep hanging in there. They need to do a bit more than that. They need to get goals on the board. So here comes Ellie McCrillos. Litsis. Oh, she's got to boot this one. She does. Well done. Good well clearing done. kick as well. Well done, Malboy Hudson. If you've just joined us. Oh, Spicer, she needs to boot it. Oh, she needs to kick it. No, she's left it for Hoffman. Hoffman over the top. Over the top, and it goes straight across the face of the goal. And no one's there for Casarina. The goalie was gone. <laughs> oh. I don't think because these both me and Tash is definitely off our seat. <laughs> yeah, the whole crowd just looked at us then. <laughs> oh, we're just oh. willing this ball to go through. Just, just to... This game has just been action-packed. As I was saying, if you just joined us, Casarina lost their goalie about 10, 15 minutes ago, unfortunately, to a serious injury, was stretched off. So you can see Malboy Hudson there in the white shirt in the goals for Casarina. Has had to come on and not a substitute goalie. She was ready to come onto the pitch as a player. They had no backup goalie, so she's put her hand up for the team. Enormous task, but full credit. Well great, done, yeah. Great thing to do for her team. The grand final, Football NT Women's Premier League, you're watching here in Darwin. Beautiful dry season night. Larrakia country, what else could you want? It's been a brilliant game of football. It's been a brilliant season. Beautiful ball. So Pablo puts it through. Spicer, geez, they're using all her petrol tickets, I reckon, Spicer. <laughs> I don't she know how is. many more she's got <laughs> left in her, but I think she's just going to keep running till she's got nothing left in that tank. So, Hoffman, let's keep an eye on the captain. So this is Pablo with the throw. We'll go to the space. Flitzes. Oh, a bit much on that. Well done, Pablo, to control well that. Newton Aragon. Flitzes. They need to go forward. Maya, they're playing piggy in the middle with Maya. Maya. It's like a training session right now. <laughs> oh, and on Smith, if she gets hold of this near the goals. Well done, Fulton. Ooh. Oh, Maya. She's got to get on her bike here, Newton Aragon. She does. Oh, no, she's used her body well. She's trying to get on the right, the left. She's <laughs> 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 Oh, there's a bit of feeling in this game. A bit of back chat happening to each other out there. So Flitzes, crowd's getting right into it. Great crowd here tonight. They just need to now just slow this game play down. So Pablo, straight to Douglas. Douglas will go out wide to Fulton. Fulton puts it through to Spicer. Pablo will get there first. Here she is. Against Ellie McCrillos, the captain of Hellenic. Her captain band just flapping in the wind there. It's come off. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, well, come on. That's a little bit of a late pass, but he did um, late call miss there. a little couple of handballs at the, you know, the start of the game. Yeah, there's a bit of, he's just warning one of the oh. players. So, <laughs> Steph Trachillas. Steph Trachillas. Just a bit of a warning. Like the, um, the, uh, you know, the um, old head out there. She has been playing soccer for a very, very long time. So she does have here's, great skills and mentality behind her. Here's Ellis. Now she's got a big kick. It's going to go all the way to the box. It does. It goes over the top. Malboy Hudson will take this one easily. Well done. Now just talking of Ellis, at halftime, she actually won the competition for the longest throw. So <laughs> I wonder if she can win the um, competition for the longest kick between her and legs. Yeah, we'd like, actually, after the game, we should know. <laughs> but, yeah, she, she won the... The, the longest throw, and I tell you what, it was probably about 20, 25 metres as well, so yeah. it was a massive throw. So Hellenic getting just under 80 minutes here. And what a fantastic game. You know, both competitive teams, they've gone out there, they've given their all, yeah, and um, it's just, and it's still gone. It, it hasn't come dull, the game hasn't dulled it down. 
Yes, Katarina just need to go just to get that feeling that, yeah. you know, they, they're, that still, st they're still within a chance because anything can happen. If you can yes. just salvage a draw, you've got extra time. So here Hoffman, we go, Hoffman, here we go. Hoffman, Hoffman. All right, she has a shot. And oh, Kasakala straight to Kasakala. <laughs> Every majority of the ball, the kick has gone straight to her hand. Kasakala, good take. She's always, usually takes it on the on the second the second grab as well. So Kasarina need to wake up to that because as the ball's going in, a Kasarina player needs to be in yeah, front of her right. waiting for that fumble. And it's, and on Smith, that goes out. Oh, a bit sore there, Myatt. But she'll keep going. She's like Energizer Bunny, that girl. <laughs> is well done, Ellie McCrillos. To Myatt, her and oh, Pablo well that done, time. Pablo. And it goes through. Hoffman doesn't even chase that Spicer. Wasn't ready for it. So that was a good ball too as well. But her forwards yeah. just weren't awake to it. That's right. They need to be. This girl's got to be on ball. They're not in front. They need to. Oh, oh here we go. Look at her. Three toes. toes. She's toes. She gets oh. it back. Malboy Hudson, watch out. They come in. Walling. Malboy oh. Hudson. Oh. Oh. Well done. Can I just say, in that game plan, where did Gagan come from? Gagan came from the other opposite side and shut that ball down. Yeah, she helped. She helped Malboy Hudson, and that's what they need to do. So, free kick against and Maya. Don't, very unintentionally, I you know, might didn't mean to um, give her a karate kick at the back, but <laughs> fly kick. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> no, Malboy Hudson, and that's what we well, said. Her, her back line needs to help her, and they yes. did. They did. So she'll actually be Ooh. a bit confident that's a flat kick, but oh, oh here we go. Two jump. Bang. She didn't hesitate. She looked for an angle. She gave it. She found the back of the net. Well done, Kazarina. So, not much Kasakala could have done about that. She's nah. been the best player out there so far tonight. But just that ball through. And that ball from oh, no, this is This is the stop. Well done. That was walling. And then they can come in. So, this is what they needed. So, there's about four. We're going to go three maybe four minutes into extra time so there's still plenty of time here to Kasharina. coming through oh oh young coom just got taken out there and that's it that's this is what it Kajarina, if they can get another one this game is going to be way too too much excitement this is what Kasharina was missing in the first half in the of this game and in the first half of this Half. Oh, it's true again. Spicer. Does she get around Ellis? Ellis has fallen over. She can cross it. Hoffman's there. She can't control Fulton. it. Fulton's coming Fulton. from the back. Places it. It's fallen. Spicer. Oh! It's in the crossbar. It's, yes! a it's a draw. 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 Wowee. <laughs> Wowee. It's a draw. What? How many times are saved? Then wow. it the crossbar. <laughs> this Spice game has just got <laughs> interesting. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Look, ball hits the crossbar, bar. and then Hoffman. Hoffman. Wow, Hoffman with the air volley. Very difficult kid, you know, getting the direction on. We said she needed. She was the X factor. She's in it. Kajarina equalise. Listen to the rowdy burning up now in the last couple of minutes of this game. So they're looking oh, for Maya. They're looking Maya. for Maya. Maya might even save the day. <laughs> so Maya will go back. She's looking for Coombe. They come through. Martin couldn't connect. Well done, Walling. The touch that Walling wow. got on that. But watch out, Ellis. Listen to the crowd. This crowd has actually started burning up. That's got to be a free kick, the way of Walling. Well done, Walling. They, Hordea's going down, have lifted Kazarina and Hoffman, Spicer. 
Kalitsis. Kalitsis. Pablo since she's pa come on. It's Pablo is doing a great job in shutting down that ball. So down the line, Fulton. So they're under pressure now, Hellenic. And I said that Kazarina needed to get under the skin of Hellenic. They started to use their body a bit. They started to get under the skin of Hellenic, and that's what's got them in the game with that Off try. Ones. Just pushing, Enter. pushing, pushing. You have to get under Hellenic skin, and here we go. Here's the changes happening for Hellenic. So coming on is a player that did the halftime sprint. <laughs> and that two sprints. Pretty well. She, did, she had to do two sprints because it was a false start. So young, it's not Coombe, no Coombe. No, it's not Papadakis. What's got Papadakis? Oh, is it? No, it's... So Chalakis, I think that is Mina. Yeah, and um, Macuit, if I said that right. Macuit, Macuit. Number eight for Hellenic. The young half-time sprinter. Yep, apologies if we do have that incorrect. But... Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, whoa. Wow, <laughs> that was... So that was something. We will have extra time, injury extra time, that is. So here we go, Spicer, Spicer. Oh, over the top. Spicer, a little bit too much Vegemite on that ball, and it does cross. So just, just to recap, tonight's game where you're watching Football NT Women's Premier League Grand Final between Hellenic and Casarina. Hellenic scored the first goal of the game, the four-minute mark by Gemma Martin. Then there was no goal, goals. 1-0, half-time. Then they come out. Rihanna Meyer for Hellenic scored a goal, 50-minute mark. And then bang, bang, 80-minute mark, 82-minute mark. Wow. Hoffman gets Casarina back in the game and equalises with Hellenic. And Casarina have just lifted. Hellenic seem okay. to be on the back foot now. Newton Aragon. The matchup of the game, Aragon against Myatt. Myatt does have a goal, but that probably doesn't this highlight just made the, the, game. the battle that they've had tonight. Interesting. So, now let's see if um, Kazarina can keep that tight defence to try and keep Hellenic out. And let's see if Hellenic can actually um, break through that defence. Okay. And on Smith clears that one. Coombe, young Coombe, there she is. Good throw goes to well done. Ellie McCrillos, her captain. And on Smith, uses her body well. So Coombe again. And on Smith, he uses that head every time. <laughs> she just reads it so well. Oh. oh. Ellie McCrillos, she won't take a backward step. Gets it to Douglas. Douglas to Hoffman. Good oh, body work good done arm, by Billius there. So good clear by Gagan. That was actually a handball. The ref has picked that up. Handball against um, Hellenic. Yep, and it it they'll, is leave, they'll leave this oh. for Anon Smith. And a oh, yellow card. Right. Yellow card is issued to Ellis. Uh, to Ellis. Yep, so Ellis is a yellow. And you know what? Oh, you don't see you her don't say know. much very you know. often. She's a very, she uses a great sportsmanship, as she's we can see. Well, majority of the girls down there has good well, she just, no sportsmanship throughout the season. She remains calm, so it's unusual. You know that Kazarina have got under this. So yeah, that's right. So, Anon Smith, look at that. Hits the back. So, it's going to go the way of Kazarina. Quick throw here while they've got space. Now, we are nearing 90 minutes. But we will go into injury, injury time. time. And then if we still have a draw, oh, I we're don't going think, ex um, extra. Mal boy in the goals there would love that. <laughs> right we'll, go, now. we'll play a little bit of extra time. So here we go, Douglas. No one's there, no runners. She, she looked up, she took the opportunity to have a crack. Straight in the hands of Cascala. Walling, she's done a good job on Sophia McCrillis in the second half. We haven't seen Sophia McCrillis in as much space as what she did in the first half. No. Martin's been quiet in the second half. There's McCrillis, but it's Martin, just as yep, you say it. As you speak. So, oh, 
blitzes. Now she's lifted in the last 20 minutes. Fulton, she and keeps it in. That, yep, she, oh, it went out. So we're nearing the 90 minute mark. Be interesting to see how much extra time we have for injury to Hordeas. The goalkeeper of Casarina had to go off. Serious injury, she was stretched off, unfortunately. Stand in goalie, and in that time, Casarina have kicked two goals. Yeah, that's right. Here's my oh, well oh, done, Galitzis. Oh, that I think that hit both their hands, but yeah. play on, a play on, fair bump, play on. Bolton Hoffman positions herself well, gets it out to Spicer. Beautiful kick, Spicer. Spicer. And she's got a oh boot. well done. Look at that. You've got spice up top. She's had to get through four Hellenic back line and the goalie. So, so she's really battling it out there, isn't she, by herself? Marquette luckily hit her back. Oh, oh no. She's got the pace. Got Gagan's the pace. gonna get there. She does. Gagan's got there. Malboy Hudson's gotta pick it up. Oh, oh. Gagan has saved the day for Kajarina there. Well done. And that's exactly what <laughs> she's Boy done. Had some high fives. <laughs> she's like, whew, thank goodness that happened. <laughs> Hot. I can hear it beating from here. Oh, what a game. Excitement game. I didn't think the intensity could stay in this game for 90 but minutes. But it has. It, it has. has. And the endurance has too, which is fantastic. And the performance is actually picking up. I feel like I've played a game, Mina. I'm pumped. I know. So Ellis. Oh, that's play on. So Hoffman. Oh, Ellis is frustrated. She's Ladies asking her place. So five, five minutes. There we go. Five minutes due to the injury to Hordeas. We just watch on replay here. Look at Gagan. Gagan, he's really trying hard there to shut it down. She has put on pressure oh. a lot on Might, and Might has been pressured all game because you know she's, you know, the dominant uh, player right now. Oh, well done, but also good work to get back there. Help now. Can someone score in this five minutes, or are we going to full extra time? Here's Aaron Smith. Boots it through. Spicer didn't read it. Coombs there. That's come off Coombs yeah, well going done. the way of Casarina. Pablo wants to throw it in quickly. She does now. Anon Smith, bit of space in front of her. Lovely ball control, Pablo. Trachillis. Now this is different. This We don't see this very often. Hellenic put a through ball and no runners for them. No. So Gagan. Goes out to Fulton. Fulton goes into the middle. I think she was expecting Douglas to get Douglas there. She did. Got there. In the end, she got there. <laughs> so Walling. She's tripped herself no, there, Mark. That's right. She's tripped herself. They just stumbled on each other's feet. Just making sure that she's okay there. Good sportsmanship again shown by the players. So five minutes, you can see the red time, the screen there, five minutes is all that there is. Coombe gets there. Pablo against her, no, Newton Aragon, sorry. What does she do? Does she sacrifice? Yes, she does. She puts the ball out. Bides some time. On the edge of their seats, look at the crowd. What a crowd. What a crowd here we do have tonight, which is fantastic. So here's young Mary Coombe. First season of Women's Premier League. And this is why these two teams finish first and second and are in the grand final. So Myatt can't cross that one. Well done. And on Smith does well to defuse that situation. We've got two and a half minutes left. Two and a half minutes left. So Anon Smith's going to come back and kick this. She could almost have a shot for goal from oh, there. I bet she can. <laughs> and I hope she does lift that ball and go long. Just get it out of the casual in a half. She does. And she does. There you go. But it's going to fall straight to Macrillos. Pablo tries to control it. They all merge on her. Myatt gets there. She keeps it in. Myatt. Pablo hits oh, the ball back. Here's Douglas. Around Douglas. one. Douglas into some space. 
calling for it as Fulton. She's got space in front of her, gives it back. Hoffman coming through the midfield. Spicer couldn't get there. McCrillos, the captain, what can she do for Hellenic? She gets around she one. She gets around one. She can't get through Newton Aragon. Crosses it. Oh, well done, oh, well Fulton. Done, Fulton. But Great control. Billias is going to get there. She gets it forward to Martin. Martin scored the first goal of the game, the four-minute mark. Fulton's going to sacrifice that one going out. It's going to be a throw-in. We've got one and a half minutes left. It's a draw. Casarina, we're 2-0 down until the 80-minute mark. And then Hoffman scored two goals in two minutes to level. So they need to be careful they don't give away a penalty. That's right. So if this goes through, uh, time vote goes up, do we get extra time or does it go straight into penalty? I'm pretty sure we get extra time. Okay. We weren't given any instructions Here we go. on that. <laughs> so it crosses it. Dangerous. Malboy Hudson oh. saves it. Oh, and on Smith yeah. clears it. Then <laughs> she's got 40 seconds left. <sighs> but, this is nerve wracking. But. They'll want to score Kajarina if it comes to a shootout. Poor Mowboy Hudson. Yeah. You, 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 you just, don't really want to, you know, take that. <laughs> oh, take you, the just gotta, you just got to feel for her if it gets to that stage. I mean, she hasn't taken a backward step. So we've got 20 seconds, roughly 20 seconds. Pulitzer, she stood up. Krillos has a crack. Oh, oh, oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Just that booted, was close. booted as long as you can. There it is. That was close. Full time here. And it's a draw. Here we listen now. Fantastic football. We expected nothing less. So, there'll be three minutes changeover here. Okay, three minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Okay. Wow. So, we're in a 15 and then a one minute break, and then we're in another 15. If that's how the US result, we then go to penalties. And oh my goodness. Okay, so can someone <laughs> score? I don't know if I've got another. I don't know if I've got uh, another hour. I think I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my voice. Okay, so three minutes. We will be back shortly for extra time. Make sure you stay with us.
Lewis Award Keller, the charity law firm. For personal and business dispute resolution, number is 1-800-978-360. Thank you to both McDonald's and Lord Keller. Welcome back. The Football NT Women's Premier League Grand Final. Full time was 2 all. We're going into extra time to see who the winner of this Grand Final is. So, Hellenic, we're 2-0 ahead until the 80-minute mark when Kajarina scored two goals in two minutes. It levelled the score. Full time come. An extra five minutes for injury time and still the scores were level. So, we're playing 15 minutes to see who can win this game. If still it's a draw, we play another 15 minutes. If still it's a draw, we play another 15. <laughs> they will go through to penalty uh, shootout. And then we go to the shootout. So all excitement oh. here. The men's grand final is next. Oh. So the guys have to wait, which is pretty good. They have to wait on the women for a change. Yeah. <laughs> so Malboy Hudson. Now, if you've just joined us, this game... Absolutely exciting. Malboy Hudson has had to step into the goals. The goalie went down, Hordeus, at the 70 minute mark. Kajarina hadn't scored a goal. Hellenic were two ahead. Malboy Hudson, come on as the goalie, has done a couple of saves, put her hand up for her team. Doesn't usually play in there, usually plays on the pitch. Done a wonderful job, Kajarina, to get themselves back in this game. Hellenic, the powerhouse they are, finished on top of the table. Kajarina got under their skin in the last 20 minutes of that second half. What can they do? The momentum it was with Kajarina. Here's Makrilos. Sophia tries to get it over to a teammate. They just swarm her. Coming through is Ellie Makrilos, the captain. Oh, Douglas. Douglas. Fancy footwork. So Douglas, Fulton and Hoffman lifted with Kalitsis to get them back into this game. Ellis, down the line. Oh, this oh, is dangerous. Oh, this is dangerous. Comes, has a shot. Malboy oh. Hudson, no fumble. You did see Mike coming in to cut off that corner <laughs> to receive that ball. Unfortunately, straight to Malboy. Oh, this game is very, uh, very nerve-wracking. So, I think coming through, there's Kalitsis. Really lifted. Spicer. We weren't, wasn't quite sure how much petrol she's got left in the tank. Well done, Pablo. She's made a big difference since she's come on. Douglas needs to be careful she doesn't give it away here. Then goes to Malboy Hudson. Walling. Out there for Hellenic. Papadakis. Goes into Lisa McCrillos. She'll go back. Coombe. Might. And that just oh, goes straight out. Too. Newton Aragon. The matchup of the game, those two. Myatt scored in the second half, 50 minute mark. Well done, Newton Aragon again. This <laughs> comes through, reads that ball so well. Suspense it is. Lovely night in Darwin, lovely dry season night for grand final. Yes. Perfect conditions. Ellie McCrillos tries to get around Fulton. She does, puts the ball through. Maya tries to go over to Papadakis. Malboy Hudson goes out, meets it. Oh, bit of a fumble, but she, she gathers the ball. She a little bit to come out, but she did make that last minute decision and met the ball, which is good. Fantastic. Well done to Malboy Hudson. Finding touch there she's good it's gone straight out i reckon Liz threw it in quickly she needed to catch them on the back foot myatt and on smith oh what a game we didn't think the intensity could stay for 90 minutes it has definitely has you know the girls have done a wonderful job out there so ellis goes back <clears throat> They're just trying to reset here. Hellenic trying to find the space, trying to punch a gap. McCrillos, good McCrillos footwork. Look. She goes in on the outside of the boot. Martin wasn't ready for it. It was a beautiful, beautiful ball. Beautiful through ball by McCrillos. Unfortunately, yeah, it, wasn't, it was very misread by uh, Martin. 
So, Mowboy, good kick. Oh, there's Spicer with the back of the foot again. I'll tell you what, if there's a highlights reel from this game, it'll be the ball that she gave Hoffman. So, Spicer, oh. she's on. Ellie McCrillos gets back there, the captain. Fulton now pushes up. So the ball goes out, going the way of Casarina. So we've already gone. Believe it or not, Mina, we've nearly gone 14 minutes into yeah. extra time. So here we go. Another minute, and they have a minute break, and the swap ends. Goes through. Casacala doesn't fumble good that hands, time. Good hands by Casacala. Hoffman was right in front of her. Oh, it, it's it's going to be very, very hard to pick the best on ground here tonight. Casacala was Play leading the match, definitely. Most of the game, here's Douglas. Hoffman wasn't quite reading it, those two. <clears throat> Look at them, they're tied. Absolutely tied. Both teams... The, the intensity level that they've played to maintain, it just physically you, you can't. So they're running out of steam, both teams. So who's got the st stamina, the mind power to just wheel through these minutes? And this is where all the training, all the fitness that you've done for the season. Oh, straight, straight in the... Um... Comes, to, <laughs> comes to help because... All those extra training runs, the runs, the fitness that you do is all for cases That's like right. this. So we've just gone on 15 minutes extra time. So that was including the five no minutes. One's up there. That was including the five minutes that we had. So that's gone out. So it comes back. Bit of confusion there. Someone's injured. Maya, the physio, will go over and check it out. There she goes, number seven. Looks like Fulton's just doing a little bit of a stretch on the ground, just stretching yeah, the maybe. muscles out. Bit of cramp, cramp will kick, creep in now to these players. You can see them all stretching, all of them just about a stretching. <laughs> They're all bending over, but Casarina have the throw or the kick? Uh, the throw. Yep, it's the throw, Fulton, quickly. They're, they're awake. No. I'm not quite sure what's going on right now. They've let that go, and I have no idea why, but play on. I think it was because of the injury. So that's gone through too far. Mowboy Hudson will take this one easily. Oh, what a game we've had. What a season. It's just the icing on the cake, this grand final. For the season that we've had, Douglas. Douglas gets around one, puts it through to Spicer. Spicer, trying to look for Hoffman. Ellie McCrillos, how did you oh. do that? <laughs> that was a tricky little, uh, yeah, was a tricky little flick back. Good option though that she took, especially in the position she was facing. So, of course, the men's grand finals on after this. But they've got to wait. They'd be in the sheds, not expecting this when they came down. So, luckily our crew have bought that many batteries tonight because we didn't <laughs> expect to go this long. Otherwise, if, if it goes black, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're changing batteries galore here. It's Casarina pressing forward. Krilos. To the younger McCrillos. Oh, too much space. They need to be careful. It's a through ball. Mowboy Hudson's going to come up and grab it. She well does. Done. Good, good decision. You can so, see she's getting a little bit comfortable in the um, in the box there, doesn't she? Yeah, just her confidence grew and grew after the first couple of saves that she did and her back line, what they did to help her. Now Hoffman, watch the bounce. Young Coom. Hoffman uses her head well. She's got a left. She has a shot. Oh, Casacala saves her. Again, again. <laughs> oh. Well done to Casacala. So it's going to be a corner. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure why the ball's going back for a goalie kick because it's definitely a corner. 
Oh, what can they Beautiful do here? Beautiful save. Beautiful save by Cascala. Well done. Look, she's been absolutely brilliant goalie tonight. And on Smith, going to take it. There we go. Beautiful kick. Come off Douglas. Cleared by Ellie McCrillos. They can let it roll out. Casarina will get this back. So, Casarina, Douglas. She always gets around the one. That's her go to move. And on Smith has a good leg on her. That's why her nickname's Legs, and they found her offside. She let the referee know all about it as well. Wasn't happy with that. So Ellis is going to take this kick. Now, we know she's got a big kick on her. She is definitely going to be looking for her runners. Where's Might? Might. She doesn't go yet. Maybe McCrillos. McCrillos is going to time it. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. To McCrillos. Kick. It's over the top. Kalitsis is with her. McCrillos, clever, controls it. Oh, oh yes! Newton Arrington clears it. So and now we've Woo! got a corner for Hellenic. Hellenic now have the corner. Oh, wow. Beautiful wee. ball. Look, McCrillos, is, you know, little twinkle throws. She really gets her and she finds her feet. She gets through them. Um, and, but, and on, yeah, I just can't get over how, how Look much. At her, there's my boy Hudson. She's ready. This is the first corner for her as goalie. She's going to be nervous. She's going to be nervous as hell. But Lisa McCrillos is <laughs> on one of the players there. There's a bit of push and shove going on on the goal line. Here we go, McCrillos. Perfect spot. Oh, Adam Smith is up. Smith with the header. Spicer just booed it to Hoffman. She does. McCrill uh, Billy, sorry. Hoffman, does she let it go out? No, Billy keeps it in. Hoffman, what's she going to do? Go down the line. She tries to. She does. She does. It's keeps still it in. Play. Who's down there with her? Spicer. She's trying to get there. It's in the box now. Spicer. No. Oh. Douglas. She doesn't blaze away. Oh, I can't believe this game. This is unreal. Myatt now puts it forward. Mowboy Hudson's going to wait for it to come to her. It's just got enough on it to get to her. We are not going to have any voices tomorrow, so my we, friend. Yeah, no, we don't. <laughs> so we do have a player down. Uh, I can't I see who. I think that might be Ellie McCrillos. Ellie McCrillos? The captain. I reckon right. it's cramp. A lot of them are stretching. No, that's not Ellie McCrillos. That's Lisa McCrillos, I think. Uh, yeah, Lisa, number 12. Oh, here goes the trainer. Here goes it in, in what looks like, like a nurse. And a, nurse. and a day with a nursing outfit on it. <laughs> oh, she's, she's prepared for Silly Sunday early. <laughs> <laughs> she's well, going to kill us. I had my Silly Sunday for rugby a couple of weekends ago. I mean, I dressed as pebbles. So Yeah, and you also uh, told me that you won the dress-up. Yeah, I did. You? I did win the dress-up. Good work. Yeah, I know. Pebbles. I'm going to call you Pebbles for now. <laughs> hey, Pebbles. So, <laughs> just if we needed more extra time, we've got it because <laughs> cramps happening here. The players are all over the sideline getting a drink while they can. The coach is barking instructions to both teams here. There's a the Casarina coach. <clears throat> now, we were going to do an interview with the captain but I don't think we're going to be able to have time as soon as this game finishes that'll be it because we've gone so yeah. much extra so trust us in saying that the captain would be absolutely thrilled regardless who wins because what a game what a game <sighs> we can't even stay we haven't, still we haven't even sat down in this last uh, 22 minutes we are standing so she's gone off have taken Lisa McCrillos off. <clears throat> Just have to keep clearing my throat every now and again because it's getting a bit dry. Here we go. Our boy Hudson with a good kick. The only one there is Maya. She's going to let it go out. She does. And straight away she's onto it. Gives it to Billius. 
Throws it to Myatt. So Kazarina weren't awake to that. The kick. Now Boy Hudson. Well done. Confident. The kick. Coombe. Fulton. Fulton couldn't control it. Now Boy Hudson again. So we're just confirming we are running out of time for that interview. There's and on Smith. So there's the first 15 minutes of extra time. So they'll have a minute break, then come back and join us for the second part of extra time <sighs> in this grand final. So both teams here will just have a minute break and they'll go straight back out for another 15 minutes. So just recapping. One minute change over here. And into the second 15 minutes of extra time for these fabulous players. So you can hear the so CEO never, there. Ever fail. So the, just re recapping on the game, Hellenic start the game. Gemma Martin scored the four-minute mark for Hellenic. And then there was no more goals in the first half. So 1-0 to Hellenic into halftime. And they came out. Hellenic started the second half really well. Rihanna Meyer, the golden boot winner, dual winner, of course, come and kicked the second goal for Hellenic, the 50-minute mark. Kazarina had a major injury to their goalie. Rodeus went down. Looked like she did her knee badly. Was carried off on a stretcher. Soraya Malboy Hudson was ready to come on as a substitute on the pitch itself. And in the end, she ended up having to come on as the goalie. She came on the 70-minute mark as the, the sub-goalie, not expecting tonight to be a goalie. But she stood up. And then the other Golden Boot winner that won it with Rihanna Myatt, the captain of Casarina, Rachel Hoffman, then scored a goal, the 80-minute mark and the 82nd-minute mark to, left, to draw the score with Hellenic. We just watched replays there. There's Sophie, uh, sorry, Soraya Malboy Hudson. Just wheels that one in with one hand. That was an extra time. So here we go again, folks. Another 15 minutes. Let's see if someone can score. So Kazarina start with the ball. And on Smith out to Fulton. So they've changed ends, the teams. So Douglas nearly steals that one from Hellenic. And she, she does. does. She needs to boot it. She does. She She's scored. scored. She's scored. Douglas, Douglas, Douglas. In the second period of extra time, the number 12. Douglas, well done. Lauren Douglas has a for the club. So they've still got to play. Still plenty of time left oh. for Hellenic to come back through to this star uh, goal. Well, we, so within a minute, within a minute of the... Extra time, second half, people. If you've just joined us, the second lot <laughs> of extra time this game. Nearly two hours of football these girls have played. These girls have got to start battling it out. You're going to see some high-intensity soccer getting played right now. What a goal by Douglas. She had to get it over Casacala. Casacala, was... Casacala did come out to meet that ball. She, she was shutting off the, the angle. Were there. Douglas had to lift. Here we go. She had to lift the ball over Casacala. Look at the lift. That perfect. Lift. Perfectly played, perfectly set, and perfectly, just perfectly <laughs> in that uh, goal. Look, we still got a lot of time, and I feel that Hellenic can come back from this. 
and I hope that they do and making the game a little bit more interesting, but we don't want this to go through to penalty shootouts. Oh, wow. This is unbelievable game. Football NT Women's Premier League Grand Final here in Darwin. And we have had an absolute oh, ripper. Time. An absolute ripper of a game. No matter Haven't we? who the winner is tonight, both teams, both teams and players can hold their heads very high. Unfortunately, and fortunately, you always have to have a winner. But wow. But wow, both teams, you know, to me, having a look, both teams are both winners tonight. They've played their heart out. They've actually given it all they have. Oh. So that, that would have hurt. Don't worry, Maria, she's tough as nails, <laughs> Maria Billios. So just wait. So Casuarina need to be careful. They want to wind the clock down, but they need to be careful that they don't lapse one That's little right. second because Hellenic will score and level again. So that's a handball. Yep. Ooh, so here we this go. Could be Ellis. A game changer right now. Ellis, if she takes this kick, you, we know she's got a brilliant kick. Uh, Malboy Hudson really needs to be on a toast for this one because I've got a feeling that ball is going to go directly to her. Uh, I'm buying a lotto ticket tomorrow because I said. In the first half, I would love a draw and extra time yeah, in this can. game. <laughs> and what have we got? And we got a dryer and um, extra, yeah, time. extra I'm, time. I'm, I'm buying Lotto tomorrow. Hopefully, it's a sign. Yes. So here we go, Macrillos. Sophia, beautiful kick. Too much oh, spin on a little it. bit. I, oh, I really thought Ellis I would have taken that. Yeah, I, I probably would have let Ellis as well. Only because of how long they've played tired legs, Ellis would still have the power and she the distance. Would. In her kick. So, <clears throat> here we go. I reckon we've got about under 10 minutes left. So, Ellie McCrillos, Myatt, Hoffman's got in there. Hoffman's going to keep this in. She does. But only as far as Lius. She'll go back to Ellis. She's got a good kick. They need to get in front of her. Don't let her kick that ball. Oh. Oh, well done. <laughs> Hang on, Smith. That was a bit of a tense moment there. Now you can hear the crowd. Crowd's building. They're expecting the men's grand final. That's had to be pushed back. Women are taking centre stage, and so they should. Look at the display that we've got tonight. The oh, skill, definitely. the courage, the commitment, the endurance. Free kick going the way of Melanic. This time, Ellis has to take it. Yeah, definitely. So here we go, Ellis. She's got the kick. Oh, 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 oh. 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 So just <laughs> over the top. Oh, that was close where we were sitting. Touch that ball looked pretty sweet. What a game. So what a what a what a game tonight. We weren't expecting this, weren't we? But you did call it, you did call it in the first half. So here we go, Ellis again, she's got lots of space. This time she takes the power off of it, but coming through is Gagan. She's had a brilliant game as well. Here's Hoffman, scored a double. That goes out, it's gonna be Kajarina's ball. They'll take their time here, Hoffman just goes to collect the ball, then rolls it to her teammate. Killing the time, that's experience by the captain. Maya just goes flying in with her head. Here we go. Macrillos to the other Macrillos, goes to Maya. Maya. Papadakis, she's calling. Papadakis gets there. Malboy oh. Hudson. A well five done. Big save. Oh, wowee. Now she just needs to boot it. She does. Well done, Douglas. The goal scorer.
in extra, extra, extra time. Gets around yes. both. Good skills on Douglas. Just left them. Spicer couldn't oh, control it. Shut down by Ellis. Well done by Fulton. And I've only just noticed after two hours nearly that Fulton has those lighter that pink was socks. An accident. <laughs> She got sandwiched and the free kick against um, Kazrina right now. Hellenic has got the free kick. Let's so see what Alice has with this ball. So we know Alice. she can actually make this distance. She can go for goal. Malboy Hudson definitely need to be on her feet for this one. Watch Myatt's run. So Myatt, they're trying to bring on sales. They're going to bring on sales. They're trying to do a substitute. No one's listening. Now Fulton, I think they've taken Fulton off. So she's going off on the far side. Sales is on. That's a very um, gutsy move. A gutsy, um, you know, uh, interchange right there. I would have left Fulton on. Yeah, just the experience that she's got. But here we go, Alice, waiting for the runners. It's going to fall short. Oh. It does. But back there is Coombe. Coombe. Thought she was going to wind up and just misses Martin as time is ticking down. This is all favouring Casarina at the moment. What a comeback by Casarina to kick the last three goals of the game to go ahead. What a season we've had. Totally enjoyable. It's been, been a, a great season. It's been an absolute <laughs> honour. The TWMC show, Tash Medbury, Mina Chisholm. So that's gone out, Hellenic. Their time is against them. No, it's Casarina. They can take their time. They can take their time. You can see the Hellenic crowd on the hill there. Here they go. Ellie McCrillos, no. By Kalitsis, what a second half she's had. Hoffman to Douglas, the partners in crime who have the three goals for Kazarina. They were quiet in the first half. And she half. gets it back. They were so she quiet gets it back again. in the first half, but come alive in the second when it counted. Sales, she's just come on. So again, time. Is the enemy here for Hellenic? I'm not quite too sure how much time we got. It's actually disappeared. Yeah, it's the, I don't think they know. They're waiting on the ref, I think, now. It's all the ref's call. Oh, I thought he was blowing the whistle for full, full time then. Full, full, full time. So there's Myatt. Douglas. Oh, challenge. Look at Douglas. Look at the footwork. Myatt steals it from her, but Myatt tries to get it out wide. She's spent... She's used up oh. all her petrol tickets. And it she's goes had a out. brilliant game tonight, Maya. She always does. It goes out. So, Coombe. There mustn't be much time left. It's a matter of minutes, if not seconds. So... Hellenic must score to take this game into extra, extra time. Thought she was off, but she's not. Papadakis no. is on. She tries to control it. She needs to cross it. No one's there. Well done, Walling, Walling. Pablo kicks it out. So Billius with the throw in. Got to work quickly. She does. Ellis. Ellis. Oh, that's a big collision. Don't tell me there's going to be extra time for the injuries. Can't be. But that was a big, big clash. That was, that was kind here of like we, the, Watch on yeah. replay here. Oh. Mm, just a big yeah. clash there. Big clash. Looked like um, a knee to the head, unfortunately. Oh, Nurse Betty <laughs> is down there. So the time will the time will tick away. <laughs> so 
So she's up. Kaz is there. That's Pablo. I think was that Newton Aragon. Uh, looks like she looks a little bit dazed. She does need to come off. <laughs> I think that is Pab Pablo, yeah. And coming on for her is Althea by the looks of the interchange. So, Ellis, this is the last opportunity for Hellenic, I feel. Without knowing. Ellis is trying to um, <laughs> argue the point is it a free kick or is it a throw? It's actually a Hellenic throw in. Can you throw it to yourself? Yep. And that's a foul throw, so it's actually Kazarina's ball. Oh, she needs to. Good pick up there, Mina. Just as I said, can you throw it to you? She did it, so it was the way she threw it, wasn't it? So there's a sub. So Althea is coming on, and um, she did substitute for Pablo. Why are girls pushing down? They need to push up. Well done. Need to be careful, Mikrilos. So can Ellis, can she get them back in this game? She's trying. She's really trying. She's very dominating through and trying the fact that she... Oh, I thought he was whistle again. So that's going the way of Hellenic. Can we just call this game, please? <laughs> this is going the way of Hellenic. <laughs> Ellis. I want to go sleep. <laughs> Ellis, Ellis can kick this. This is she gettable. Can. She can kick this. This is gettable. They were trying to see how far they could stand away. The ref was having nothing of, nothing of it. Stood them there. Here we go. Bang! It's going to drop. So oh! Mal uh, Soraya Malboy out and the fist goes up and she takes it. Soraya! Malboy Hudson, well done. She's stepped in with confidence. She needs to get back at the goals. Oh, oh Papadakis, she's going to have a crack on her lap. She does. Oh, oh. And coming through is Newton Harrison. <laughs> flying kick, but they've got a corner. They need to hurry up. The refs looked at his watch. Oh, oh, that's it. Nearly have no voice left. And we watch on a replay here. Look at Newton Aragon come flying wow. A kick. What's it going to do? They need to boot it. Needs to get out. Hellenic are trying to get it in. Oh, here comes Coon. Coons, the youngster. Spicy can't get it. Myatt. Oh, Douglas. So it's a free. Just no, the ref's looking at his watch again. Coom quickly throws it in, straight to Douglas. Douglas has it. She gets through one again. She gets the ball back. Down the line. How much time do we have? This oh, the, is the ref. longest 20 minutes. <laughs> the ref keeps looking at his watch, hasn't called it yet. Oh, one oh, minute. One minute. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right. Guys, this, go. is, this uh, game right. has been very nerve-wracking. We've just, <laughs> game. we've got nothing left. We've used all our batteries. <laughs> we got nothing. This was not expected at all. No, but we've got half a minute left now. Thirty seconds. <laughs> hey. Thirty seconds. Casacalas had a brilliant Kasakala. game. Brilliant game for the goalie Ellis. The free kick going to Katarina. They've got it. 20 seconds left. They can use up all this <laughs> clock. Oh. Enjoy it because this has been a brilliant season here. Football NT, Women's Premier League. This is the grand final. Katarina have kicked the last three goals of the game. Two hours, two hours of a game. They've played the girls out oh. here. Both teams need to hold their heads high. There we go. Full and that time. is it. And has full, full, full time here. Premier League game. Full time here. Football NT Women's Premier League season. Hellenic, unfortunately, finished top of the ladder. But Kazarina have come back and kicked the last three goals of the game to win 3-2. Thank you, Mina Chisholm, for the season. Thank you, Tasha, me. for the season. I'm Tasha Medfrey. We look forward to the next season. Congratulations, Kazarina.
just a quick. Pardon? Oh, just cut down. It's just a quick one. Okay. <laughs> good work, good work. Wow, what a fantastic game here. We actually went on to more time in the game. I've got Rachel Hopman here with me now. She is the captain of Kadrina. Rachel, what does this game mean and the win to you? Oh my gosh. As you can hear in the background, it's pretty amazing. Um, every single girl played until the last minute, 105 minutes, and yeah, we can feel the win. What a fantastic win. And did you girls expect the win tonight, considering it is a both powerful teams uh, playing in the grand finals? Look, um, we lost every game to Hellenic of the season, but, um, you know, we came into the game, we had nothing to lose, and I'd prefer that, actually, going into a grand final. Fantastic. Listen, well done to Kadrina Rades, and thank you, Rachel Hoffman, played a brilliant season. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed an absolutely historic game of football. Would you put your hands together first of all for our runners-up, the Land of Lake Ladies. I have their fantastic captain, fantastic person, Ellie McGrillis. Ellie, I know it's hard to talk after a game like that, but every single one of those players just gave that everything they had. Well said, Eddie. Uh, Ellie, can you just call out the players, please, and get them in? Ladies and gentlemen, once again, please, Hellenic Athletic Premiers at 21, runners up in the championship. <laughs> Can I ask the match officials to come forward, please? I want to thank you so much. First of all, Timmy Lay, fourth official. Thank you, Timmy. 
This is game 4,396, just this weekend. Can I ask uh, Adele Bonawal to come out, please? Lee, how are you? Good to see you here, Lee. Thank you so much, young man. Well done. And someone who speaks seven languages and all of them are good, please to see her. Well done, man. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, throughout the year we had an extraordinary event between these two teams. They are simply amazing athletes. Two girls scored goals which are unbelievably high. Rihanna Meyer scored two last week and one today. That's three to add to her tally of 36. So that's 39. And Miss Hoffman, the same again. So we have an equal golden boot winners. Can I ask Rihanna Meyer to come up first, please? Be presented, please, to uh, Rihanna. And can I ask uh, Rachel Hoffman, please, to come up, Rachel, and receive your... I repeat, over... I don't know what, 36 plus 36 plus 3 plus 3, but it's a hell of a lot of numbers. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an all, uh, an, uh, a, um, a Rising Star Award. Uh, this is put together by a number of coaches we put together. We kept it very quiet. I watched every women's game. We, and they wanted to make sure I made mention of Mary Coo. Where are you, Mary? Fantastic this year. Well done. Uh, Sophia McCullis, you're an extraordinary athlete. Well done to you as well. Eki and Arrigan, you will also mention Eki. But ladies and gentlemen, they saw every game, and this is the first time she played Premier League. She is the star of the uh, of the future. She's only, I think she's the youngest playing WPL. Erin Gould, the Port Darling, who came third in our sprint. Well done, young Photo? One more award, please, ladies and gentlemen. Simply so many good athletes. This is the Women's Player of the Year. Again, so tight, as voted by the match officials. Lauren Douglas, you're an extraordinary tonight. <laughs> Ellie McCullis, you do it week in and week out. And by one vote, Lauren, no, you didn't get it, sorry. By one vote, you missed out. I, I must tell you, Lauren, you have been voted the player of the grand final. Yes. So that's going to come in a minute when we bring you up. Sorry, Lauren. Jacinda Bissop has been the player of the year. Can I ask Rachel Hoffman to come up, please? Rachel? On Thursday we went on the jet skis, it was a lovely relaxing afternoon, that one wasn't so relaxing. Just sum up that game, what an extraordinary football match. But you're a long way from Pennsylvania. This is a lovely way to say hello to everyone here from Darwin. We welcome you. You've been such a great addition to our game. Can I get you to call out each of your girls and put a medal around their necks?
also want to thank Sharon Smith, who's just a legend of the game here in Darwin. Thank you, Sharon. And Benny, thank you for all your work. And especially you, Matty, the work you put into your team as a volunteer for women, you should be so proud of it, mate. Martino, come here and grab one half of this. Can I have the captain over here for the other half? Before you present there, somewhere in there is Lauren Douglas. You are the player of the grand final, Lauren. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please make your way to the centre there. Martino Suarez, Rachel Hoffman, champions for 2021.